Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. This podcast is made possible by the support of viewers like you. You can support this podcast on Patreon by using the Amazon links in our description section to do your shopping, by signing up for Loot Crate using our official link, or by contributing via Super Chat if you're watching us live. If you have a video or suggestion for the Drunken Peasants, please label it clearly and send it to the Drunken Peasants Facebook inbox. You may also send fan art and pictures of you wearing or sporting our merchandise. Please do not send personal messages, as these will be deleted unread. Thank you for supporting the show. And with all that shit out of the way, here is the Drunken Peasants Podcast. <laughs> Cast. Live from the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Fuck it! <laughs> you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, atheist? It's okay. It's okay. You're nothing, it's okay. TJ. You're garbage. It's okay. it's okay. Wanna be light? You're fucking garbage. And now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Hello, everyone. Fucking Welcome thing. to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 385. Yes, I am here with Paul Zigo and TJ Kirk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, bitches. Smoke weed every day. I saw people in the chat, they're like, how do we even know TJ's going to be out tonight? How do you know? Well, here, now you know. Yeah. How yeah. do you fucking know? If this is the first time our intro has not lied in a long time. Our intro is a lying piece of shit. Damn. Fucking yep. poor intro. Being forced to lie like so that. I'll I want to remind everyone, we're doing the post show after this show. Check it out. DP on demand. Link in the description. Uh, oh, my God. The last one, it was me and Billy the Fridge. We were watching uh, Crazy Lady in Panties Attacks Man with Cane. That was the uh, <laughs> video we watched. It was some that crazy... Sounds like, that sounds like a fucking masterpiece, dude. It, it, it was. It was like it was like this crazy bitch in her underwear. It, it was... It was in New Jersey. There was snow all over the fucking ground. And she starts attacking this old man. This old man beats the fuck out of her with his cane. And then the police come and make her sit in her underwear in the snow. And she's like freaking out because it's so uncomfortable. Beautiful video. Beautiful video. Has everything. A so, little bit of everything. In that, that does video. sound like a masterpiece, I gotta say. <laughs> Maybe you can dig it up again, dude. I want to see this motherfucker. I want to see this bitch in her panties sitting in the snow, man. <laughs> You know, uh, on our last episode, we played the Black Pigeon Speaks video, and I real I, I understand, TJ, you made a video on your channel about that. Oh, yeah, I had I didn't know that DP had already covered it, but uh, yeah, I made a video about it. I, I had fun. Uh, it was kind of my first video in the new set that I'm building. Well, not that I'm personally building, but that I'm supervising the construction of out <laughs> in uh, the garage area. So it's kind of like... Garage. It's kind of like when, when you're driving down the road and there's construction and there's a bunch of guys busting their ass and then there's the one guy holding the shovel watching everyone else work. That's you. Yeah, I'd be the guy that's kind of like standing over them, judging their work. Yeah, I was going to say that that's, that's absolutely correct, minus the shovel. And if the shovel was a glass of Arnold Palmer. <laughs> there you go. There. No, but yeah, I mean, I, I that was a. I, there's still some problems with reverb and shit in the studio, but uh, it's coming out pretty nice. Fucking took the garage, uh, put a wall down the middle of it, painted the area black. Gonna put some sound foam up. I have this fucking neon sign coming. I got a lot of cool shit coming. People are uh, saying, "Uh, TJ's audio sucks." I'm sorry, cause you know what? My audio sucks because. I wanted to be on this microphone here, but fucking Scotty's computer hates my fucking guts and just wishes me ill. So I don't know what to fucking tell you because it won't recognize this fucking soundboard for fucking shit. It won't recognize the Logitech webcam at all <laughs> and either says that it doesn't exist or that it's being used by another application. So whatever. So instead, I'm on my fucking laptop, you know, and uh, and I'm using this this fucking piece of shit. That uh, was all the rage back in the day, though. That microphone, everyone had yeah, that dude. shit. The Yeti, 
I'm I'm on the I'm on the same microphone, TJ, and I sound just fine. So I don't well, know. I don't I don't know what to fucking tell you, Paul. I don't know what to fucking tell you. You suck, TJ. That's what it that's what it just boils down to. It just boils down to I fucking suck. That's so, it. uh we used to go right into Streamlabs, but I found that the people enjoy it a lot more if we just get right in and play a few videos. So, uh here's here's the first one. All right, here it is. Hey guys, Joe Davies here, and I just recently saw this ear cleaning video on YouTube that literally blew my mind. I mean, my mind was just like everywhere. What it was? No, was not the guy literally. Wrong. Took a drill with a Q-tip inside, and he cleaned his ear at high speed with the drill in a Q-tip. Well, as you may know. I'm an Sounds like I'd rather be watching that fucking video. <laughs> yeah, where he's drilling his brain with a fucking drill. Dump man by trade. Any self-respecting earwax stuntman would have to try this out to see what it's like. I just want to preface here that um, this seems very dangerous. You could possibly preface? hurt the in Purpose? part of your ear, your eardrum. Do not try this stunt. At You're not here. The wrong button. I, sorry, yeah, I, I was pushing the wrong button because I'm a retard. Now this doesn't just seem dangerous. He's like, this seems a little dangerous. No, this is you're putting a fucking Q-tip on a high-powered drill and sticking it in your <laughs> ear canal. That doesn't seem dangerous. It just is. I gotta preface this by saying this might seem to the untrained eye as though it were dangerous, but it at home. I'm a trained professional. Please do not try this at home. All right. Children. All right. There's no there's no fucking trained professionals in the field of extreme earwax collection or whatever, so I'm saying troll, because there's no fucking such thing as a goddamn trained professional in, in, in that field. I mean, I want to see if the dude actually sticks the thing off in his ear before I call troll. Is he going to uh, fucking do it? I don't know. I haven't watched this whole one. Uh, we'll see. Of the internet. Yep. Okay, so here I have my uh, fully charged uh, battery operated drill. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my Q, Japanese Q-tips that have the has a mimikaki end on one side and a Q-tip end on the other side. You can only buy these in Japan. I think. Uh, what? Troll. Yeah, uh, some, some pretty exquisite Q-tips there, though. The whole it's you starting, can only buy these in Japan? Come on. It's starting to stink like a troll. So he flew all the way to Japan to get these? Well, maybe he just had them imported, you know. Oh. Fine imported Q-tips. <laughs> I, think, I think I've shown them these before on my channel. But so, first I'm going to try it out with the Q-tip side. See how that goes. Because this is just... Wait a minute. Did you, what other... Are you going to do it with the other side, too? <laughs> the, the side that's just a sharp end of a stick? Yeah. A little scary, even for me, you know. So, all right, there we go. There we go. Okay, Let's see what we got here. Holy moly! All right, well, he's not a troll. Clearly. Oh, how do you know he's not a troll? Because he just stuck. The, he just did the thing. So what? You don't think you would do that for a troll? I mean, he. That, but why, why would he be a troll if he didn't do the thing? He's cleaning out his ear with the drill, man. He's not a troll. He's doing it. I don't see how that makes him not a troll. <laughs> Nobody's going to risk their eardrum for a troll job, TJ. Come on. Oh, so we I have a dispute you know here. Would. I think you, you got to be the tiebreaker, Ben. Do you feel like no! this guy's a troll? No! Or do you feel like this guy's not a troll? 
I hate being the one to make this decision. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with troll. Rat TJ's right. Fair enough. Fair enough. I give him props for sticking that thing off in his fucking ear, though. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I mean yeah, he's... he did have the balls to go full on with what I feel like was a troll job. But maybe maybe that guy is sincerely really that devoted to ear cleaning where he's got the Japanese Q-tips and he's trying the drill method and all this shit. I don't know. That's one uh, that that guy has an unhealthy obsession with uh, with ear cleanliness at that point. I agree. Like fine Japanese Q-tips. Only the finest imported Japanese Q-tips do we use here. Why? Dude, that's another one that we could do, TJ. You know we, how we have the the duty stain uh, thing? We could we could do the Q-tip challenge and see who's got the most potatoes growing in their ears, dude. Oh, I would definitely win that one. You're you're like you've got like a hive in there. Oh yeah, like sometimes I'll put a Q-tip in there and I'll pull it out and it'll be fucking like I mean, you won't even believe what would be on there. I mean, it's just like a fucking thick coat. It's not just like a little yellow. That There's like dark brown fucking globs of fucking ear stuff going on. Well, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. It is you indeed. Know, you know, I, I only have a little bit of uh, DP action news. Um, I'll just play the intro. So when you burn it down, Anderson, what are you left with? People are discriminating against wolves. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. TJ, are you with me? <laughs> I am today. And you better well learn to love it. All right, so we have to talk about it. You know what? I'm going to admit something right now. Uh, when uh, when Billy was on the last time, I think it was Billy and we had Kasara on. Uh, we, we talked about for a little while we talked about um fucking jake paul and i put jake paul's name in the title and we made more av ad revenue than we've made in like six months just by having fucking jake paul's name in the title so now Jesus. so now it's like i have to cover the pewdiepie drama because that's gonna get clicks too all right let's do it so, I mean, like, clicky, TJ, clicky, you, motherfuckers. TJ, you have said the N word on Drunken Peasants and on your channel many times. No one's calling for your head. Well, that's because I don't matter. PewDiePie actually <laughs> matters. So, you know, if he was on my level of just being like a shit stain on the Internet, he could get away with whatever he wanted. But because he's huge, you know, he can't he can't go around dropping N bombs and shit, you know, because people hear him say it. They're like. Ooh, and plus he was already accused of racism by the Washington Post and shit and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so whatever. That's when they were trying to kill new media. I, I, you even made a video about it. Well, I mean, you know, the, the, the attempt continues. I mean, that was when they tried to bludgeon it with a hammer. Now they're just trying to fucking strangle it with a fucking piano wire or something. Yeah, but every, vi just every, another video, every video on Drunken Peasants at the time of its release is demonetized as not appropriate for all advertisers. So, uh, and if and if we dispute it, it gets denied every time. So, well, I would deny us too because this show is just horrible. <laughs> Have you seen the things they do? Have you seen the way they talk? Before we get into PewDiePie, I noticed one time, uh, or I, I saw something where there was a channel where they recreated weapons from Walking Dead and they hacked apart uh, dummies zombie dummies and they got flagged as not advertiser appropriate but like isn't walking dead one of the most popular shows with like all the major advertisers uh, yeah. well, let me explain this shit but ben you have to realize that corporations have a totally different standard than <laughs> independent content creators do obviously i mean they could show fucking all kinds of shit that we can't show they can say all kinds of shit that we can't say and still be advertiser friendly but if you got, you know, CBS or somebody, you know, backing you, uh, AMC, CBS, whatever, one of these fucking uh, networks or one of these cable channels or one of these telecoms or one of these internet fucking services like Hulu or something, if they want to do it, it's fine. But if, if independent content creators want to do it, then, uh, you know, you, you basically anything that's uh, more hardcore than a fucking PG-13 is like, oh, I don't know about this. Advertisers are scared. Like what? 
Like, they've got to do, like, on The Walking Dead, it actually looks like they're hacking apart dead bodies and shit. Yeah. And then they've got these dudes that have got dummies with, like, watermelons painted up as zombies and shit for heads. And I, I just don't even, I don't even understand what constitutes, like, what is advertiser friendly anymore? Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're mixing up advertiser friendly with family friendly. Is what they're doing. There's no difference in their world, but obviously, obviously, Walking Dead is advertiser friendly. Breaking Bad was advertiser friendly. Even we're advertiser friendly because we get paid by advertisers, independent from YouTube. Yeah, plenty so. of advertisers come and advertise with our show directly. So the idea that our show is not advertiser friendly is fucking bullshit on the face of it. All right, so here's PewDiePie. This is the uh, this is just the raw video of him actually saying it, and uh, we'll we'll discuss it. One behind the orange car. What? What the fuck is happening? What the hell was that? The potato was fucking insane. I was holding it so fucking straight. What a fucking nigger. Jeez, oh my god. What the fuck? Sorry, but what the fuck? I think he realized oh. it. You know, uh, I, before I even comment on his use of the word nigger, which I guess my only commentary on that is I don't care. Um, I just, I, 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 I mean, I know it's been said a fucking trillion times, but I'm never going to understand. Like, I used to go over to people's houses and, you know, when I was a kid and when they were playing video games, it was like the most boring thing in the world to just sit there and watch your friend play a fucking video game that you couldn't play. You were just waiting for your turn. And now that's just a thing people do. Like, man, I can't wait to watch PewDiePie play this game. It's like, fuck that. I just don't understand the fucking appeal of this horse shit. I do want to point out in Scandinavia and many places, and I, I know he lives in the UK now, I believe, but uh, nigger has a different, I mean, it's not considered as offensive. So, oh, I yeah, think it, they don't have like the whole fucking history with it that we do. That being said, though, it's just blurting it out and, as an expletive and shit, it was probably dumb of him to do that given the current tone of shit, but I can't find it in me to give a shit. <laughs> I don't understand why everybody else does. I think what a fucking asshole. I think you realize. I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> he fucked up. Why would he do that? Legit, why would he do that? Did you kill the other one? Yeah. Why would you do that, Kudai? Why would you use that racial epithet, which you know is offensive, to millions of people? <laughs> so many feelings were hurt. So many poor little feelings. I'm, I heard some game company got butt hurt about this and like uh, decided to DMCA any videos of Pewdie PewDiePie playing their games. Yes. Uh, which, what a bunch of cocksucking faggots. Yeah, let, wait, wait, to, wait to get me to never play a video game by your shitty little fucking company ever again. I do notice that one of his uh, inventory items is pan. Which is interesting. <laughs> yeah. In this game, you I pick up a fan. I can try to shoot. I shot him three times. He fucking went out of his way. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. That's the incident. Oh, no! Crucify him! Crucify him! It's the end of the world! I kind of looked at this before the show because I figured you might cover it. And, like, it's it's pretty insane how much of the gaming media is covering this. Like, a bunch of people that cover gaming are covering this like it's some huge story. PewDiePie said nigger while live-streaming Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Oh, shit. Stop the fucking presses. How is that, like, video game news at all? It's not at all. He just happened to be playing a video game while doing it. That's how it's video game news. It's just like, you know... Between the hurricane and everything, they're just kind of like, you know, they're stretching at this point. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. what. what uh, I think the hurricane is probably bigger news than a uh, hootie pie. Oh, you know what? Two symbols together. Speak of the devil. I'm going to give you guys your uh, opportunity to speak on the Vadim shit. I don't know 
how much of it you saw. Um, I can give I my side it. of the story. Um, yeah, let's start with your side because I don't have full context of it. I just read like the Twitter exchange. Yeah, it, it, and it was it wasn't even really it was an exchange between him and other people because I refused to give him attention at first. So two weeks ago, I start getting random DMs from Vadim and Paul. You'll you'll recognize this. He's kind of like, hey. You know, I heard you guys have been talking about the the Applebee's thing a lot. Let me come on and defend myself, and then I can have CC make a video about it. And I'm like, I was kind of like, okay, well, I'll, I'll I'll talk to the other guys the next time I see them, and I'll get back to you. And I knew I wasn't going to see you guys for a while, so it's kind of like, whatever. So we're doing the show. It takes... A lot of setup time. When you have a guest that's remote, like like you, uh, like TJ and Paul just experienced, I have to like cut you guys into your little windows. And if one of you two guys left right now, the remainder of you would get like all weird and stretched out. So I can't just bring anyone on. So all of a sudden, I'm my phone's getting blown up. My phone's getting blown up from everyone that also knows Vadim and me. And I've got a few Facebook uh, DMs from Vadim saying like, hey, come on, man, my house is about to get blown away and come on, let me defend myself about the Applebee's thing because like, you know, you guys, I didn't even get a chance to defend myself and I just ignored it. And then all of a sudden, Jeff, who was a guest on the show at the time, was like, hey, by the way, uh, my wife just told me that Vadim's trying to contact you and I just lost it. I'm like, Vadim... I'm sorry that you're in danger. I'm sorry that your property is in danger. Um, you know, uh, I don't care about the Applebee's thing right now. Uh, you don't get to just demand to be on the show last minute notice while I'm already doing it just because there's a hurricane coming your way. Uh, no, you're not coming on. Sorry. And I, and, and, your top priority should be getting the fuck out of your house and somewhere safe right now. And that's what yes. I said. So then he was like, oh, my God, I feel dissed. I feel so dissed right now. So that's that's where it ended. And I muted him and ignored him for like a day. But then like one or two days later, I couldn't help but respond to him and call him an attention whore. And I'll give you my theory before you guys chime in. I think he knew this is ridiculous, and I think he just wanted attention, and he was drumming up some fake controversy to draw attention to his videos. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what. First of all, uh, the whole uh, Applebee's thing, it doesn't matter if that happened or not, okay? The, the point is that it's a silly story, and it's fun to make fun of it, and it's not even fucking important. I, he has this weird attitude like his honor was impugned in some serious way. And, like, no one gives a fuck about it. You already defended – like, what are you going to do? Unless you have video evidence of it happening that night, you can't prove it happened or that it didn't happen. But People are just going to make their own mind up about it. And in the midst of a hurricane, how is that your fucking top concern? Oh. Like. Before the, I die, I want to make sure people know that I did see that mill 4 g at the Applebee's because that's what really matters. Here's the thing: even though he only talked about he only talked about the Applebee's thing with me as his reason for coming on, and the hurricane as a reason why I should feel bad and let him on. Later on, when people on Twitter are like, "Why do you give a fuck about the Applebee's thing? Get to a shelter." He's like, "Actually." I didn't even want to talk about the Applebee's thing. I just wanted to talk about the hurricane because they were talking about the hurricane the whole time. It's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you're in the hurricane. Get the fuck out of there. Get to high ground, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, I've no I don't think I've ever talked about it on the show, but I kind of stopped taking uh, calls and shit from Vadim because when I was first on the show, right before the Milo episode is when it all came to a head for me. Vadim used his access to me to, like, try and get himself on the show. And that day, the day that Milo was coming on, when you guys had called me and been like, yeah, be ready, because Milo, big guest or whatever, Vadim calls me early on in the day, and he's like, hey, Paul, can I think you can work me in on the show? And I was like, dude, I don't book the show. You know, Ben books it. What, well, do you think you can ask Ben? I was like, whatever. You know, I'll, I'll try and bring it up. But I, I had no intention of bringing it up. It's a big fucking show. I'm not going to add another person. 
He was trying to do some fucking fundraiser. But later in the day, like an hour before showtime, he calls me again. Do you get a chance to talk to Ben about getting me on the show? And I was just like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't it's even... so funny you use the cat voice when you when yeah. you talk like vadim i think of him in the cat voice now and like you know what i didn't make a big fucking deal about it at the time i just kind of stopped talking to the guy because i was like you know like, i'm new on the show i don't book the show i never have and trying to use me as a vector to get on the show is just like stop calling me <laughs> you just don't yeah, Vadim is a is a is a strange cat, dude. But uh, yeah, <laughs> a strange you know, I cat. believe you. I believe you about uh, Applebee's, Vadim. I believe you, dude. I think that those those titties were out. I think they were they were jiggling. I think <laughs> the, uh, it was I think a they great were lactating. I just all kinds of stuff going. <laughs> down. We wove it into a great bit for the show. It's one of those things where like it doesn't matter if it's true or not. It turned into a fucking funny bit for the show, and everybody laughed about it. The people. Like, he was complaining, like, there's still people that think I'm a huge liar in their fan base, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, like, those are the same people that thought Billy threw piss on me. You know what I mean? Still do. Like, there's going to be a segment of our fan base that believes that everything that happens is fucking real. Who cares if it was true or not? It was funny. Move on. Pack your bags and get to a fucking bunker or something. There's a storm coming, kid. All right, so we're we're gonna move on from that because uh, we, we've given Vadim what he wants even more. Um, here's a, this is an older story. This is from several years ago. This is out of New Mexico. It's a, a toilet burns kid. A kid was sitting on a toilet at school and it severely burned them. A boy burned, a mother fuming, and a school system refusing to talk about it. The Clovis huh. mother called Action 7 News after finding second-degree burns on her five-year-old's leg. Burns, the boy says, he got <laughs> from the school toilet seat. Action 7 News anchor Tanya Mendez has the story you will see only on 7. This goes all the way up his bottom. Oh, my God, dude. Look at that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. And the school won't say shit about it. How did a toilet Deep. seat get hot enough to do that? It was just it sitting in the sun? I don't know. It must have been like a water pipe or something. That's all I can think of. Like a hot water pipe that got too hot. I don't know. I, maybe they'll These say. These are the burns that have a mother fired up. It should have never happened. It should have never happened. But it did. I want to know how the fuck it did happen. Like how? What? That's what I'm saying. And it's like, it looks like it's on their calf. So it must have something burned their leg unless the kid's lying, like unless like something else happened, like they were playing with fireworks or something. And then they're like, oh, no, it happened when I was sitting on, in, you know, like on the toilet seat somehow. Because as far yeah. as I know, as far as I know, only cold water is pumped through toilets. So where does the heat come from? Yeah, I've never seen a toilet. I mean, I guess I guess I've seen some toilets that have like uh, heated seats. But I seriously doubt this school had those. I mean, so other than that, I can't think of a heating component to toilets in general. So it's he burns pretty fucking on bizarre. her son's leg on someone else's watch. When he arrived at school, there was nothing wrong with him. He wasn't limping. He wasn't complaining of pain. He was healthy. He was fine. My child comes home from school and can barely walk. The five-year-old told her it happened in the Lincoln Jackson Elementary School bathroom when he sat on the toilet seat. Is this blistering in here too? It is blistering. And it was so bad that as we changed his bandage and put new cream on it, his leg would shake with pain. Doctors at the ER say the burns are from chemicals. Oh shit. Uh, it must have been like a cleaning ke chemical or something. So those are not heat burns, those are chemical burns. Yeah. Okay. Acid well, that makes based more sense. Chemicals like the ones used to clean toilets. Furious. Uh. I was furious. Furious. Because no one from the school bothered to tell her anything was wrong, and no one from central office will call her back now. So we came here in person to speak with somebody from I mean, Clovis. That's fucking retarded. I mean, like, the school district has to realize it's not in their best interest to fucking ignore this situation. I don't understand how they could possibly not be responding to this parent. I mean, they got to know that at this point they're going to get sued, they're going to lose, they're, they're going to get fucked over. So they might as well at least save face in public by fucking addressing this woman and trying to come up with some kind of 
reason why this happened. Nah, nah, fuck that. I say just ignore the bit. It'll go away. What's she going to do? What's she going to do? Go to Channel 7 News, K-O-A-T or some shit? Maybe, maybe they're waiting for their lawyer to write up a statement at this point. It's probably what they're doing. Well, schools oh, I about gar- the incident. I guarantee but- that's what they're doing. Yeah. They wouldn't even verify that anything happened, and they refused to give us a statement. Nelly Aragon wants to know what Aragon. chemicals they were using that could cause burns this bad, and what, if anything, they've done to change it. So they're, they're not saying now that, that it's a chemical burn? Yeah, yes. you missed that when you walked out. It's it, They said it was chemical burns. <laughs> it's uh, It was green chili. Someone left too much green chili on the toilet, and it burned the young man. This won't happen like, again. I- I can't even think of a bathroom chemical that would cause burns like that on contact immediately. Like, what would they have in there? Like hydrochloric acid or? <laughs> and who's- yeah, like what are you what are you cleaning these fucking toilets with? Not to say it won't happen to another child as well. In Clovis, Tanya Mendes, KOAT, Action Seven News. The- All right, so there's that. What the fuck? You know what? Those are the only, like, news stories. I got a bunch of other shit. I have stupid ads coming up later, too. And cutting the fat. So, All right, so let's go into crazy people. All right. Uh, oh, oh, here's your old buddy, TJ. The, the whole reason I started watching you back in the day, Venom Fang X. He's back, dude. He's making videos again. Holy um, shit. This is like his on- eighth time being back. <laughs> yeah. I think it's when he, like, realizes he can't get a new job. He just, like, he's back on YouTube. So here he is. This is called Atheism is Right for Fools. And by the way, when we the episode we had Venom Fang on, it was kind of incredibly boring. But only because of him. He yeah, like, I mean, look, I tried to give him a, a chance to explain his theology on there. Uh, it's it's funny because uh, when you when you let Venom Thing X try to explain his theology, it, it just comes across as uh, sort of boring and really evil. When you let Brett Keen do the same thing as we did in our Manatee special, which is probably still available for sale. Yes. Um, uh, he just like it just displayed the stupidity of Brett Keen on like a whole other level. But uh, Venom Van X's theology is more evil than than stupid. I mean, it's stupid of two, of course, but it's pretty fucked up shit. Well, maybe he's changed, TJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll no, see, don't TJ. So. Don't judge him just yet. Maybe he's a reformed man. Okay. Don't judge a venom by his fangs, TJ. <laughs> Come on. All right, here it is. If you've spent any time on YouTube engaged in the atheist versus theist debates, you've no doubt noticed that atheists like to decorate themselves uh, with words. So wait like, a minute. Uh, in the intervening times we last saw Venom Fang, has he become a celestial being transcending yeah, space and time and reality he's a, or some shit? He's Dr. Uh, Manhattan at this point. Wow. Cool. So he went from being a, a worshiper of God to God himself. And yeah. now, okay, now he dances amongst the stars and has some, the vo- the, you know, some weird deep alien voice going on. That's cool. People are in the chat are saying there's an echo. Uh, blame Venom Fang X. That's why there's one. Like, thought, think, reason, logic, intelligent, free, and so on. The message is clear. They think they're smarter than you if you believe in God. Now, this is both self-ingrandizing and insulting to any person who has ever... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, self-ingrandizing? Yes. They think they're smarter than you, and then he drops a self-ingrandizing on us. What a fucking retard. They are smarter than you. It's not a bad thing to use words like think and reason and logic... Just because you can't apply those terms to your worldview doesn't make it, like, fucking snooty to do so with somebody else's. He's like a cyborg now. Like, what the fuck is this? So, like, this is his new style, right? Uh, this is how he how he rolls now, I guess. You know what? I didn't agree with the it's message. Like some kind but... of creepy shadow monster talking to us from fucking beyond the stars. All right, rock on. I didn't agree with his old message, but even his, like... 
Christians don't deserve their, or amputees don't deserve their arms because we deserve to die. That was a better video than this so far. At least he was edgy. ...of the world reasoned about God's existence Abute. and concluded that yes, he exists. In my experience, atheism on YouTube in particular is less about reasoning carefully Abute. and more about insulting the opposition and making themselves feel like they're more intelligent than anyone who disagrees with them. The ultimate irony behind all of that Let's pride is self-aggrandizing bastards. <laughs> the atheist exclusively, unlike anyone else, believes that there is no logic, no reason, no intelligence, no rationality behind existence itself. Theirs is an existence based entirely on happenstance. Reality just so happens to be such that it allows atheists to exist, but reality did not by way of reason, thought, or logic bring about their existence. So while championing themselves I mean, like, as he's the still doing the same shit. He's still yeah. describing this ha happenstance thing to atheism as if, you know, we believe that it's all just a big old accident. Like yeah, like he's he's using an 11 year old talking point like I, I, maybe that's why he's doing this shadow demon thing because he just realizes like i gotta make this different somehow so it's <laughs> yeah i don't have anything new to say so i know i'll just make it look a little different and i'll do some weird voice effect and i'll put these you know weird little demon eyes and shit i mean like since when has appearing as a fucking shadow demon with glowing eyes made your argument more convincing? I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't get this new direction you're taking, Venom Fang. He's, right. trying to, he's trying to make, he's edging it up, dude. He's trying to do edgy things. He's trying to be as edgy as the atheists. <laughs> well, according, according to uh, Black uh, Pigeon Speaks, this is, this is the new edge right here. This Venom is. Thing X is the new edge. Because, yeah, he said it's way, way more edgy today to be a Christian than it is to be an atheist. So what a this fucking is, retard. This is your edge now, ladies and gentlemen. This is your fucking edge. It's this more edgy got. to be, it's more edgy to be, like, the, like, vast majority. Shining examples right. of intelligence and reason and thought, they reject any and all notions that their own existence is the result of any kind of intelligence, reason, thought, or logic. The absurdity of atheism in light of this fact creates the ultimate disparity, the most profound contradiction. There is literally no other worldview that so embraces certain virtues than fundamentally rejects the necessary... Not only uh, sadder, way sadder than it is to have the same argument, he still has clearly the same haircut from 10 years ago, too. I always loved listening to Christians talk about how illogical atheism is because I, I just want them to go directly into their worldview. Like, meanwhile, over here on the rational side, an old hairy man in a diaper made us all. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, what are you talking about, dude? Very foundations for those virtues to the point of defeating their own worldview. This is so bizarre, so utterly disastrous that one can scarcely think of anything akin to it. Even creating a parody of it is difficult, which is why atheism is so difficult to insult. To believe yeah, nothing I, I, is I, the I, cause well, of everything. That's why, that's why it's difficult to insult, right, of course. <laughs> it's I not mean, that you get your ass handed to you every time you try. It's that you know, it's just so hard to parody because it's already so inherently ridiculous. No, uh, like I do agree with him. I don't agree with the, uh, the way that he got there, but it is a whole lot easier to parody, parody religion than it is atheism. And it has a lot to do with the fact that most religious fucking belief is totally fucking retarded on the face of it. So uh, there's a reason that people usually have to be brainwashed into it as children. That is absolutely true. Everything is itself the greatest... And, and like, in Islamic countries, they're brainwashed into it by the laws of the country. Yeah. I mean, like, I've even heard people in Saudi Arabia, uh, lawmakers and shit, even, and, and public uh, opinion polls, come out and say, look, if you live here in Saudi Arabia and you're an atheist, that's fine. You got to keep that to yourself, because if you tell other people and you turn them away from Allah, that's when you've sinned. So it's okay to be an atheist. Just keep it within you, though. You gotta, you gotta hide it. You gotta lie. Because if you tell other people about it, that's when you've really transgressed. They, they so kind of feel keep this your atheism within. 
They they kind of feel Don't the same way about homosexuality there too. Yeah, just go into a fucking uh, go into your bedroom or wherever you know, and and jerk off to it, or go into your stables and fuck a fuck a mule uh, or something, and uh, and you know just pretend it's a it's a it's another man's asshole or whatever you want, or you know. Uh, but don't, don't fucking actually have sex with another man. Don't try to actually engage in that, but it's okay to be that just as long as you don't actually do anything. Just as okay to be an atheist, just as long as you don't actually try to share your thoughts with other people. Cause then you're turning them away from Allah and you know, you're causing their damnation. You know, it's okay for you to just be damned if you just accept, okay, I, I don't believe in Allah, so I'm damned for all eternity, even though I don't believe in that, but don't go damning other people. Cause there's no need to do that. That's just rude. I'm pretty so sure uh, the I'm pretty sure of the religious people of uh, Saudi Arabia. I think you told me one time about a story about a man. He was either in Saudi Arabia or Iran, and uh, he he was gay and he had a lover. But then after they broke up, his lover was going to turn him in for being gay. Yeah, uh, that was a uh, I forget what it was a television show I was watching. I think it was a uh, Locked Up Abroad or some shit, where uh, it was a story about a guy who. Uh, was gay, who was uh, uh, in some sort of nursing program, who went over to Saudi Arabia. And uh, there was tons of gay dudes in the nursing program. And they all told him, look, you know, it's okay to be gay over here, but uh, don't, uh, don't, don't fucking sleep with the locals because that's when you're entering dangerous territory. You know, just be gay with other people who are in this program. You know, be gay with other Westerners because, you know, we got our fucking cliques and shit. But when you do it with those people... You know, all they have to do is is fucking name drop your ass to the right authorities, and you'll you'll fucking be hauled off. Um, you know, so uh, he was. Uh, I don't think he was ever actually detained for being gay, but um, uh, they they nearly got him. He fucking had to flee the country, and uh, it's pretty crazy shit because you know they'll they'll execute you for being uh, gay in uh, Saudi Arabia, and or an wrong. atheist, or an atheist, or an atheist. So, any more of Venom Fang X, or or do you want to move on? Uh, I don't care to see any more. It's the same. It's the same as it ever was. It's just with different special effects. So, yeah, I don't. I don't see he's any a, reason. He's a cyborg now. All right. So we're gonna do this thing where I turn on Streamlabs. I just want to let. Uh, TJ and Paul know that for whatever reason, the way this is set up right now, you will not be able to hear the robot voice reading everything. Okay. Um, so. Let me. All right. Just to that... clarify, are we not going to hear it because it's not happening at all, or are we just not going to hear it? You'll be able to see it, but not hear it. For whatever reason, uh, you and the robot voice from Streamlabs are on the same audio channel, and I don't know how to broadcast that to you yet. I'll have to do some experimenting. Okay. Not sure that. So if it's over $10, just let it read and read it to yourself and then respond to it. Okay. Or at least try to remember. I know it's like uh, just another thing to have to remember, you know? All right. So here we go. So do you... Time for the labs. TJ, uh, while we're waiting, did, did you... Uh, I understood you had a message for the community. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't really pay much attention to what goes on in the community, but uh, lately there's just been so much drama that has... Uh, you know, begged for the attention of uh, the peasants. And it all happened right around the time that we were moving. You know, we had community managers being ousted, um, all sorts of weird little divisions and communities and sub-communities and different people breaking off and splintering into different groups that are against each other. And I just wanted to say that to me, the Scam whole thing situation. just comes across like high school. I'm going I'm sure to this is reading now, so. What are the best places to eat? So he's going to NOLA for Halloween. What's the best places to eat in NOLA, TJ? Uh, I like this place called Redosta that's over there in uh, New Orleans. Uh, Redosta Grocery. Um, but I just want to say to the community, like, you guys just need to fucking chill with all this fucking high school drama bullshit. I mean, just, just chill the fuck out. Seriously. It's not that important. A DP Scam fan community shit one. is not that important. TJ, why are you so useless? You have endless funds to move 55 times, but can't get on a stream to do your job. 
<laughs> and where is that equally lazy brother of yours? Is fapping a good excuse? I guess your coattails must have fallen off. P.S. Paul is fat. Oh, well, thank thanks you for, for the- being nice to me. At least. Uh, yeah. You know what? I have a message that came through that didn't display for some reason. It's glad TJ and Paul are back. You should have the guys from the Metal Sam Injection live cast as a guest. Some dark humor, some shitting on politics. Hilarious, guys. All right. So there was that a sounds plug. promising. Uh, you can't take it when you die. So give all your money to the drunken peasants. I agree with AJ. AJ, I think, is really hitting on to something here. Like that's that really connects to me. Personally, I think that's a powerful, positive message for the people watching this show right now. You know, TJ, TJ, do you think we're we're committed enough to where we could uh, talk about schedules in the near future? Since this is the first time you've been on, um, I, I scam situation. Are you st- all still alive? Yeah, we're all still yes. alive. Yeah, you can see us. Uh, the only thing I'll say about scheduling is that um, a lot of people have uh, asked us. <clears throat> Over the the uh, last few months, to go back to a uh, three show a week format, and uh, we haven't exactly figured out if or how we're going to pull that off. But um, I'm thinking that we probably will in some form. Scam I don't know. If ev- I don't think every peasant is going to be on every episode. I'm Does sorry, this anyone is probably else think now. that this setup doesn't feel the same? Then just uproot your life and move to Louisiana too. You're ruining this there show. There you go, Ben. ben. You're a shit. Ben. ben. You're ruining God this shit, you. Ben. Ben. Uh, anyway, like I was saying uh, before, this this person interrupted me. What here. a whiny faggot! I know. Fuck them. Um, but thanks for their money. I'm I, ruining I the show. The I'm ruining Scam it. Situation. I stayed where I was, and and you guys left, and I'm ruining the show. Yeah, you I don't fucked know. it yep. up, Ben. It's all you. Uh, streaming and super chatting from the shower. Dedicated. Welcome. Thanks. Hey, hey, Ryan know, is naked. Cool. Yeah, Ryan, you know, you, you got fucking Ryan sending us money with his dick out. That's Is he nice. rubbing one off? Yeah, That's Ryan, gross. rub one off for us, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Go uh, ahead. But, Go. Scam situation. Yeah, this shit comes in quick these days. Yeah. I remember taking a bath after my mom cleaned the tub, and uh, I think I'll just do this announcement after this shit's over. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It was then after, very red from the chemicals in whatever she used to clean the tub. It looked and felt like I had bad tingling sunburn on half my body and hands. So this is another person saying that they have accrued chemical burns from a, a bathroom cleaning product. I mean, that wasn't like a strip of Scam flesh situation. missing, though. The following is an update from the Louisiana Center for Obesity Control. Louisiana <laughs> has replaced Washington yeah. as the nation's fattest state uh, and that a makes state sense to obesity me. crisis I'm fine has with been that declared. For 11 bucks. Paul is so <laughs> fat that any yeah. state he enters I mean, becomes you know, number one in A lot of people call obesity. you fat and don't give you any money for it. So. <laughs> I know. I don't really think it feels that different. Scam situation. Uh, I don't either. Uh, the only thing that's different for me right now, uh, I just wish BPS would admit he's a white nationalist. Uh, I don't think he's necessarily white nationalism. I think that there's a racist component to it, but I'm pretty sure that it's really more about conforming to his ideology than anything else. Um, Five minutes. Yeah. Oh, I, I I wanted to say that we're going to probably try to start doing the Discord video, which I believe is way less Scam laggy. Scam situation. So I already have it. My we'll, all-time we'll work on favorite poll that. moment was that cool. time he referred to Venom Fang as snake tits. Snake tits. <laughs> That was way back in the day. I did some uh, response to Venom Fang and called him Snake Tits, I guess. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I love that. Uh, the only thing that's different for me right now is because me and Paul are in the same room, and I know it doesn't look like we are. Scam situation. Um, I keep having to keep this from getting too echoey. I have to constantly kill my mic in between yeah. things. So if I didn't have to, if I didn't have that shit to contend with, it would just feel totally natural. But pressing a button every time I have to talk is kind of weird. But that's about the. I only already have a demon neck tattoo. Think about getting Coolsville Paul tattoo. My other dude, that blows my mind that people get tattoos of our shit. I mean, dude, like, there's a dude that has a dinosaur on his yes, head. Yes, on his head. You can grow hair over that though, so that's that's yeah. kind of a safer tattoo because it's just the outline. What do you think of Trump ending DACA? Uh, it was the I'm right decision. It, it was the I'm right decision. It. I don't. I don't like it. I don't think it's a good decision. Some people think it was a good idea. 
Uh, look, I can understand cracking down on immigration, but to like take people who came into this country when they were like two, three, four, five, six years old, scam situation, and deport them years and years later, that's just fucking stupid. They they don't three know how to survive in any other guys. country. I've never been so enthusiastic with watching endless amounts of hourly long streams. It's been a very wild yeah, ride. Somebody wants to be oh, followed wait. on Instagram. I forgot to show. Yeah, well, if, if you're Sorry if you're willing that. to pay twelve dollars, I say everyone Instagram should follow. I'm gonna follow that person on Instagram 64. right now. Shy Cactus 64. Fuck yeah. I'm going to create an Instagram Scam just to follow situation. that one person right now. The, uh, the appeal of people like uh, like PewDiePie, people who talk over gameplay, has the same appeal to me as MS33K or Riff Tracks. It's about the personality over the gameplay. P.S. Get Bunty King on. I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah. I don't agree with TJ on the let's play shit. I like watching play people play games as long as they've got oh. a good personality and they keep it fresh and shit. I've learned that I'm about Paul. Situation. Paul will just sit I there just, on his I phone like and watch a, that I shit. I don't, I don't like it as a. I just not into it. Oh God! Here you go, TJ. Here's the fucking uh, the the Pandora's box of questions. TJ, you're muted. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, the DP Wiki. Uh, why is it down? Uh, the person who owned the DP Wiki, who created it with Fancy Badger back in the day, Scam uh, now situation. hates Fancy Badger and says has took taken it down. And he says unless we put the people that he thinks should be in charge of our fan community in charge of our fan community, then he's not going to put it back up. So you I see say this? fuck that. This is the meme now. I'm ruining the show. Just move to Louisiana, you selfish man. Ben does not have to move to Louisiana, okay? Ben can live where he wants, and we can still do the fucking show. It's going to be fine. It's already Scam been fine. There hasn't even been a problem yet, so shut the fuck up. No. I survived Hurricane Irma. Now I can give you guys money. Love, Caleficent. Cool. I love how, like, uh, downtrodden the news agencies seemed that Irma wasn't as big as they were all projecting it yeah. to be. Yeah. They, oh, they made what, it look like it was going to run, like, dead center through Florida. You know what, Paul? Uh, you, now that you live down south uh, you know, and it's hurricane season, you're going to see how these motherfuckers are. They report every storm like it's going to be the storm of the century, and then 99% of the time it isn't. And then when it's not, they seem almost dejected, like, darn. Yeah. We really oh, hoped man. that was going to destroy a lot more. Scam situation. My favorite Vege DBZ character is Vegeta. Mine too, Vegeta. Uh, Paul, yours? Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Um, I like um, Raditz, dude. Oh, Raditz is cool too. Yeah, Raditz. Uh, you, when it when I lived in Albuquerque, like the weathermen were, they looked bored. It's gonna be dry and sunny today. Yeah, it's like the weathermen in Central California. Yeah, scam. I'm not used situation. to being in the way of this shit. Did you guys see that thing where a bunch of people in Florida were gonna shoot at the hurricane? Police had to stop these dumbasses and explain that something that should be common not. They thought they were going to... I, I, I don't really believe that people actually thought they were going to shoot away a hurricane. There's no way. Yeah, I mean, they might have done it as a symbolic gesture or something, but I don't think anyone legitimately thought bullets you don't were going to harm the hurricane. Maybe some people. A yeah. Scam yeah, a situation. Thanks for all the hard work, you guys. Here's $5 from my cheap ass. That doesn't make you hey. cheap. Hey, you know, if you're willing to give us five dollars to support the show that you love, then that doesn't come across as cheap to me. Not at you're all. Less, you're less cheap than ninety nine percent of the fan base, probably. So, <laughs> congratulations, dude. All right, TJ, you do go. your thing. Do your thing. Uh, so, what was I going to talk Scam about? Oh, situation. sorry. Oh Thanks shit! For all the hard work. Oh, that's another. That's the same. Yeah, guy. yeah. I'll turn it off in a. Oh, okay. Thanks, thanks for the uh, contributions. We're turning it off now. Don't give us any more until later when we do it again. Uh, yeah, TJ. Uh, you know the whole like fan community thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I just want the look. Uh, I don't know. It, it, none of the things that have gone on in the fan community are fucking important. Uh, and this, I, I guess we could just talk about this wiki thing with uh, the guy who owns the wiki. Uh, trying to get us to uh, put the people that he thinks should be in charge of the fan community in charge of the fan community and using the wiki as as leverage for that. Uh, that's not going to happen. I mean, we're not just going to hand over control of the fan communities to you because you're going to hold uh, something of, of ours hostage or, you know, maybe you can't say that's necessarily of ours, but we've definitely 
um, promoted it. We've definitely pushed people towards it. You know, um, we've given that wiki our official fucking support. Uh, back before it was taken down, we were even trying to put a calendar on there to let people know uh, yeah. our schedule ahead of time. So you know, uh, whatever. Um, we'll we'll it, you know one way or the other the wiki will go back up. It, you know, maybe the guy who's holding it ransom will come to his senses, or maybe we'll just have to put it up somewhere else because. Uh, Despite what he's told me in private messages, there are archived copies of the wiki out there. Uh, maybe they're not one, all 100% up to date, but we could at least get that back up in some form or another. Uh, but man, all this drama and shit in the fan communities, uh, I just want to say that you know maybe these people should work on making amends with each other. And me and Paul uh, talked directly to some of the people involved and just told them, you know, Try to fucking make amends with each other. Try to get along. And it just seemed like they would <laughs> nod in our faces. Be like, yeah, yeah, we're going to get along. We're going to make amends. And then they just go right back to fucking on each other and, and trying to do their little battles every, for supremacy. That's shit. happened in every fan run community we've ever had. It becomes like this crazy power struggle. Yeah, it becomes like the world's shittiest episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of dorks. Uh, by the way, Repsy, there was a Repsion sighting in the chat, so. Go snort a peppercorn, Repsion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, drunk, yeah. guy, drunk guy run over by wheelchair after racial slur. Oh, shit. If you've spent any time on YouTube. Oh, shit. That's not it. <laughs> that's not here, it for sure. Yeah, yeah here it is. You want me to kick your ass? Oh God! You are in no position to say I'm going to kick your ass uh, with the looks of you right now. Ben, no, is that you? It. Is that you down there? <laughs> yeah, like, maybe if a chipmunk like wandered up to him or some shit, he could kick its ass at this point. <laughs> it does kind of look like me <laughs> when I'm when I'm wasted, laying somewhere. Uh, doesn't have like, the I'll sleeves. Kick. Doesn't have the sleeves though. Yeah. I'm going to kick your ass. You want to know how someone like me kicks someone's ass like you? <laughs> Tell, say it again. Damn, this dude isn't <laughs> fucking around. He's got a boombox in his lap. <laughs> so wait a minute. This dude who's got the camera has incurred the <laughs> wrath of a Basically, a guy who's paralyzed with drunkenness, and <laughs> another guy, guy who's just in a wheelchair <laughs> with a boombox. So, like, man, this anybody who who can't probably fight very well due to physical disability or intoxication is is out to get you. This guy, guy. Hit, you this fun. guy hit. He hit the fucking jackpot right here. This is like, this is amazing. I look. I got to have that bitch. Shut up. Huh? Look at him. He's a dirty you white motherfucker. <laughs> Say it again. I tried to help that bitch. Say it again. He's a dirty oh. white motherfucker. I tried to help him. <laughs> <laughs> I got to win it. Look at my leg. Look at my leg. A punk yeah, ass bitch. Yeah, He's 40 yeah, now. You know? Knock my leg down. He's huh? attacked me. You think I'm not I killed that bitch again. <laughs> he said he tried to help him. I mean, I don't mean to be mean, but what would a dude in a wheelchair do to help this guy? Uh, maybe hold on to his hand and like try to like wheel away. Huh? Oh, how, how do you end up in public in front of a convenience store like just laying in the parking lot like this did someone leave him there I don't know maybe he just drank a bunch <laughs> and like walked and then when it kicked in he just happened to be here at the 7-Eleven I like how there's a, a fucking ATM just like right there out in the open I never see that anywhere unless it's like on a bank yeah, how do you stop somebody from just pulling up with a truck and taking that whole fucking yeah. thing? Yeah. Look at that. You want to know? I'm a good citizen trying to help this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch attacked me. You saw that bitch attack me. 
So he said he was trying to help him, and then he attacked him, which is crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. This is too much. <laughs> Dude, I've been there. Okay. He's in, been oh, there. me too. He's he's in like 300% gravity right now. I try to help him. He want to kill me. <laughs> You attack me, you're not having it. I'm handicapped, you handicapped, I'm you drunk. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you drunk. This is the funny shit, boy. He dropped his boom box, man. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Look at this guy. Man, you were lucky to capture this moment. Yeah, I know. Dude. This guy's so lucky. This is so beautiful. Dude, I, I had a moment recently that I should have captured, but I'll tell you about it after this shit. Okay. I need my legs up in there. Damn right. I need my legs up in there. Knock my legs out. You know? Oh, uh, sir, what you have my legs? This is the this is the I've been one out of the chair. Is he going to run this dude over at some point? Yeah. At least that's what the title says. I tried to help him. He calls him a racial slur at some point. And the dude's like, well, fuck you then. I'm just going to run you over. <laughs> Ramming speed. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Ah, run him over! Oh fuck! Well, he must have already gotten run over or something. Boo! 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 Run him Maybe over. that's yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it dude. says drunk guy run over by wheelchair after racial slur. Anyway, tell well, your story. You know, people like to lie. All right, so one of the things that uh, about Louisiana as opposed to Washington is uh, the fucking. Nature here is like way more aggressive and your enemy. <clears throat> and uh, one of the fucking threats that we have faced here in the short time we've been here. And uh, it's not even it's the first time I've even had this in any house that I've ever lived in. But there is a fucking rat that has like raided our pantry a couple times. So, yeah, I pa caught the fucking Paul. Thing. Paul fucking, uh, Paul faced it off against it the other yeah. night, and uh, I definitely should have filmed that event because it was the funniest shit that I've ever seen in my life. I didn't want to get bit by a fucking rat, so I put a I put an oven mitt on. Like we saw it in the like hiding in a corner in the pantry, and I was like, I'm gonna get this fucking rat and throw it throw it out of the yard. So I put a towel around my arm and an oven mitt on, and I caught this fucker. Barely, because they're fast as fuck, and I flung it into a fucking, like, I f just threw it as far from the house as I could, but threw I threw it in a neighbor's yard, is what yeah, you're trying to say. Yeah, and I think it's back. I think it's probably the same rat, so I should have killed it, but I couldn't, like, Aww. it was sitting in such a place, that's the thing, like, it was sitting behind this big, giant jar of, glass jar of flour, and I, it was, like, behind that and i was like dude if i just punched this jar of flour i'd kill this fucking rat but i couldn't bring myself to do it yeah i so couldn't I just do it grab either. it through it i was the same way though because like i had the same thought looking at it like man there's an easy solution to this problem but i couldn't fucking pull it off but uh i think we're gonna get some i think it, it isn't gonna end up getting killed because we're just gonna buy some fucking rat traps and that's just gonna yeah. murder it for us so it's so cruel to... i know and it's fucked up man but uh, it's not even it's not even in the house. It like lives outside the house somewhere. Comes in through the laundry room because there's there's a few places in the laundry room where it could get in because it's like whoever fucking did the laundry room in here fucking was like the worst carpenter in the goddamn world. And so it comes in through there, 
sneaks into the fucking pantry, fucking, you know, tr- tries to steal our shit. And uh, we've caught it twice now. Paul actually faced off against it again, had a little rematch, but he didn't didn't get to grab it this time. And that's another thing. That motherfucker tried to bite the shit out of Paul when Paul grabbed uh-huh. it, too. Oh, oh dude. It, was, it was fucking ferocious. Apparently 10,000 people get bitten every fucking year by those, those fucking things. <laughs> Absolutely. I could feel it like I had the towel around my arm and I had the glove on my hand and I could feel it trying to fucking like gnaw on my shit, dude. It was trying so hard to bite that fucking nasty rat piece of shit. <laughs> I just wish, uh, though, that I could convey how fucking hilarious that was to actually see. That's why I'm pissed at myself for not filming that because if I'd filmed that, that would have been a fucking huge, like everyone on YouTube would have been watching. I could have got like 20 million views on that fucking shit. Here's, here's a video called Treated Like a Man. We don't have time for this anymore. Do you understand that? We don't have time for this. Get your hood rat ass in your fucking car, bitch. They're loving this. Okay. They've never seen so much action because they're not from their hood. They're wannabe. Never. You need to leave. Badass motorcycle. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You touch me again. You touch me again. You don't you touch me with this small. You never. She's ever she's going to get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> ever. Ever. There's someone right here. You touch me again. That's right, keep, keep getting scared, 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 you already touched me, you already touched me, I'll kill you, 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 i will kill you 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 i Wow, what a fucking freak. She's gonna get punched. Oh, yeah, pop her. Get the fuck away. Look at him. He's backing away from me, bitch. Get away from me. Huh? The other girl's like, you're gonna get knocked out. <laughs> now, now, get away from I hope me. you have the video of him punching you in the face. You got the video? Hey, get up out. You got it? You got it? He should be. It. It's all on you. You're get done. away from me. Oh. Yeah. Again. Get the fuck off me. Get the fuck oh, off me. Get the fuck off me. Hey, Knight, come on. You go inside. You had to punch a woman because you're that much of a cat. Yes. <laughs> you had to punch a woman. Punch a woman. I hate you're supposed to. Oh my god. Get you're supposed to just sit there and let bitch. me slap you. You're not supposed to defend yourself, bitch. Put your hands on me. Oh, oh, look back. Get away from me. I thought you had my me for you. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I am not. You go inside. I go inside. Get away from me. Punch me twice. I hope you have that video, son. Hope you have that video. I, li- I like how she thinks that the video supports her. Uh, You're eyes. muted. Sorry. In some people's eyes, I'm sure that no matter what the situation, they just always s- side with, oh, you shouldn't hit a woman no matter what. And uh, they-, they will side with her. But, I mean, I think the vast majority of people who watch this are just going to be like, fuck this bitch. She got what she had coming. I mean, honestly, if she'd have gotten out the fuck out, uh, I don't think any anyone would fucking feel bad. At least no one here. I wouldn't. That would have been the quieter solution for sure. <laughs> so Get away great. from That's me! Right. That's right. You had a punch. You had a punch. Get away from me! It's over for you, son. Back the fuck up! It's over Sorry, for we're you. going to court now, so it's, it doesn't Good. matter. Fuck. You better stay here. In the cops are coming. You're going to court now. Yeah, somebody's going to court. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Hey guys, uh, I want to remind she didn't everyone. It all. I want to remind everyone who's watching right now. Please like the stream and please subscribe. Check and make sure if you want to be subscribed to us. Check and see if you are, because a lot of people they doubt the whole uh, subscriber glitch, which isn't really a glitch. I believe it's done by design, but it exists. I'm sorry. I mean, it definitely exists. I've had too many people come to me and be like, dude, I was unsubscribed from your channel. I was unsubscribed from DP. I was unsubscribed. Yeah, it happens. 
Uh, so y- you should always make sure that you're subscribed, that you're actually subscribed to all the channels that you think you are. But I mean, it almost doesn't even fucking matter because a lot of times even the people who are subscribed to channels don't get any sort of notifications or anything anymore yep. from YouTube. So, uh, you know, uh, these are just the kind of things that content creators on top of already just creating content for people now have to worry about this kind of shit and trying to bypass YouTube's fucked up algorithms and systems that are trying to fuck us over. Um, so, yeah, that's just the, the way the game is played now, though, I guess. All right. Uh, this next video isn't labeled. We'll just hey, check Jim it out. Perry. Oh, this is great. Yes. What? I've covered a lot of fashion weeks. This is the first time I've run in to Jim Carrey. Wait, tell me, is it true you're wandering the streets? You need a date to the party? What's up? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm doing just fine. Uh- he fucking destroys this event that he's at. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to be there. I wonder who made him go. Uh, I just, uh, you know, there's no meaning to any of this. So I, uh, <laughs> I wanted to find the most meaningless thing that I could fu- come to and join. And, uh, and, uh, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Jim Carrey has gone through a weird trajectory, man. And uh, there was a, a time when I really loved Jim Carrey. And then there was a time where he got kind of insufferable and I hated Jim Carrey. And now he's kind of coming back around to me liking him again because yeah. he's just a fucking he's really forceful with his uh, with his very strange opinions you and know what it is definitely fun. about about jim dude he, the the time the dark times for him were the jenny mccarthy years dude that's what i'm oh, saying yeah. like when he when he got all heavy in like the anti-vax thing and all that and uh, i thought it was really a dick move how he how he uh, shit on his own film um kick ass too and and told people not to see it and shit i mean that's just that's fucked up. I mean, he he was on that production. He saw how many people were involved in that, you know, and it wasn't it wasn't a bad movie. There was no reason for that. He just all over a gun issue, like oh, it had guns in it, and guns are bad, so don't see it. It's like well, fuck you. Now it's Donnie Wahlberg's problem. They're celebrating. I mean, you got to admit it's completely meaningless. Well, they say huh? they're celebrating icons inside. Celebrating Do you icons. In icons, boy, that is just the absolute lowest aiming, you know possibility that we could come up with it's like icons <laughs> <laughs> like He's what right look at her face she's like fuck i thought this was gonna be a good interview oh it is it is do you, do you believe in icons i don't I believe th- in personalities i don't believe that you exist but there is a, a wonderful fragrance in the air <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Jim's quietly gone insane. Yeah, that's awesome, though. It, insane, because we always knew he was kind of insane, but now that he's totally gone off the deep end, he's great again. How did you feel about Jim's stand-up? Because I actually liked that, too. Uh, I, I like Jim's uh, old stand-up shit. It was very... It was uh, more about uh, physical humor on it. I mean, yeah. a lot of times, like, he'd turn into a fucking... I, I remember he did this thing where he basically just fell to the ground and turned into a roach turn into a cockroach and just started scurrying around. Uh, does a great uh, uh, Clint Eastwood impersonation, transformed his face into the Clint Eastwood yeah. face. And didn't do the voice spot on, but close enough. I mean, you do, there's definitely amazing stuff that he used and to he, do. He was pretty much, with the side of like one or two other people, the only funny person on in living color back in the day. Oh, yeah. I mean, like the skits that were built around him were always the funniest. I mean, it kind of is... Sad in a way because it was supposed to be a show that showcased, uh, you know, black talent and stuff. But the most talented guy on it was a white dude. A Canadian. Canadian white guy. Yeah. You don't believe certain icons have the power to. Oh, that was great. Fire Marshal Bill was the best shit, dude. Oh, yeah. The The classic. I mean, like, he was on uh, the first time he hosted Saturday Night Live. He did a sketch on there that ended up becoming a movie, like the night at the. I, I'm not saying it was a good movie, but like the night at the Roxbury sketch as like a you know a two minute sketch was kind of humorous, you know. Oh I mean? yeah, I mean like there was a re- that was a, that was really funny as a sketch on Saturday Night Live back in the day. Not so yeah. funny as a as a feature length film. I don't no. know why they thought that would work ever, but. You know what? Stand by the bar and bob their heads the movie, dude. Do you remember? I tried to make you guys watch It's Pat, and you guys were like, no! 
I actually wanted to watch It's Pat. It was Scotty <laughs> who vetoed it completely, and Paul, yeah. I think, was on Scotty's side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I've seen It's Pat one <laughs> you time. Have? That is. Oh, yeah, dude. When it like around, you know, when it came to video and shit, I used to work at a blockbuster, so I'd watch all that stupid bullshit. Yeah, that was another SNL sketch that was mildly humorous as a two-minute sketch, but as a full film was like dog shit. Anyway, we'll yeah. uh, we'll watch. Let's a little more. to think differently to be bold to inspire others. Artistry, you're one of them. On the good foot. Ha! Yeah. Okay. You shut it down now. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I don't believe in icons. Uh, I don't believe in personalities. I believe that peace lies beyond personality, beyond invention of oh disguise. My God. I've seen him give these crazy commencement speeches where he's all philosophical like this. Yeah, Young I mean, it's not making a whole lot of sense from where I'm sitting. It's like G-Time Johnny shit. Red S yeah. that you wear on your chest that makes bullets bounce off. I believe that it's deeper than that. I believe we're a field of energy dancing for itself. <laughs> and uh, Is he trolling or, like, does he believe this? Uh, I mean, this is a guy who played Andy Kaufman at one point, so I got to think there's maybe a little of that in him, too. So who really knows? Uh, but that's kind of the fun, I think, is, like, wondering... You know, does he believe everything he's saying? What is what he's saying even fucking mean? Um, I don't know. That's kind of fun. It kind of reminds me of how uh, I've, I've definitely met people who talk in these sorts of weird uh, riddles and shit. And uh, sometimes if you sit there and listen to them long enough, you could piece it together and kind of see what they're saying. And other times you just realize it's just total gibberish. Whether Jim Carrey is full of gibberish or whether there's actually some sort of uh sense to it or internal logic i'd have to hear way more than probably what's contained here i've found more often that when you do sit down with them and think you've puzzled it through it's probably just because they've barraged you with their point of view enough that you're willing to just go oh okay <laughs> i acquiesce i see sure maybe i don't care but jim you got really dressed up for the occasion you look good no, I Was didn't that an get accident? dressed up. I didn't get dressed Who up. Who did? There, there is no me. There's no you. No. We're not here. This is a dream? There's just things happening. And there are clusters of tetrahedrons huh? moving around together. Okay. Yes. So what's happening in our world right now? Because there is a lot of news that actually is relevant that's not that yeah. Here's uplifting. the thing. It's not our world. None that's of this is key. real? Nope. <laughs> nope. So you're just passing We don't through. matter. We don't matter. Oh, wow. There's the good news. Okay. <laughs> cool. I mean that part of it he's not he's not wrong about it. That was edgy. That was edgy as fuck. It was Dude, edgy. Jim Carrey has become a fucking weird new age edge lord and I love it. I'm totally down with this new direction. Someone give him fucking 50 million dollars to make a movie about his new philosophy. Uh that's what I want. I want to see it. All right. Uh let's see. Here's a good one. This is enraged man attacks motorcyclist. Yeah, enough with your dub step. There's you a lot got of a problem? Video. Yeah, I got a problem. Oh. Whoa! Stop it! Whoa. Don't you fing touch him! Hey! You better fing step back right now, I swear! You're gonna get mad. You're gonna get mad. Oh shit! You better stop. Yeah, stop. Palm is facing. Are you done? Yeah, beat that faggot's ass. Huh? Is that Joseph stop. Martelli? <laughs> dude, dude, look at that Nosferatu-looking motherfucker. Yeah, what the fuck? I didn't know ah. vampires came out in the day. Yeah. Put that thing back stop. in the fucking. Stop! I did nothing to you. You better stop. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, are you gonna motherfucker? Behave? Are you gonna get up? Get up and relax, okay? I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna f Why would you say that when right you're... Now. Yeah, you're not gonna get up Help? then. You're not Anyone? in a position of arguing anymore. Dude, yeah. I did nothing to you. Yeah, you just broke the law. I... Is he drunk? This is a broke law. You just broke law is what he said. Huh? You're, you're muted. muted. Look at the size of this dude's fucking cranium, dude. I mean, the dude's got a little itty bitty brain. He's got big ass fucking squirrely eyes that are darting around everywhere. <laughs> got a mouthful of rotten fucking teeth. 
Me man, me mad at little man riding motorbike. That's about all that fits up there. Uh, Wait, about... I, 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 I went in between you at a, at a, on a road? Yep. And you're gonna, and you're gonna punch me and assault me for that? Yep. And you think that's the right thing to do? Yep. How old are you? I'm... No, shouldn't you know by now it's not what you do? I don't think I'll... that motherfucker's- I don't think that motherfucker's ever gonna know. Yeah, yeah, he looked unbelievably stupid. How can he even drive? I don't know. Uh, just, you know, next time you're out there in the world, uh, and you feel like maybe you're safe, just remember that that guy's out there. Driving. Yeah. And punching. And just ran- and just punching anyone who crosses him, apparently. All right, here's, uh, here's some Jim Baker. And when we see all of these extremes constantly hitting us, we have an extreme problem. But, it, you know, they're trying to attach it to a lot of things that have political agendas behind them, such as global warming, I believe. And such as. That's mostly a political agenda. But the real issue with the weather and everything else on the earth has to do with sin and wickedness or righteousness. Whoa. That's what like the, the okay. whole earth. Uh, no, no. Listen, um, weather has fucking nothing at all to do with sin or righteousness. Weather is not affected by uh, sin. It's not affected by righteousness. It's not affected by any of our emotions. Uh, the only emotions that uh, affect weather at all are things like uh, I don't want to stop uh, putting these chemicals in the atmosphere because it's way more convenient to keep doing it. Uh, that, I guess, can uh, affect it. But other than that, no. Um, God isn't fucking like, hey, what's the sin count up to? You know, oh, man, the earth is full of sin. Better send more hurricanes and tornadoes and earthquakes and shit. We'll cry it doesn't out work that way. because of, un, you know, the shedding of innocent blood. Yes. The earth cries out and things yes. like that. That's what throws nature off more than dumping CO2. I have it. felt... And I was what? afraid to share with anybody mm -hmm. that this flood is is from God. It's a judgment on America somehow. Somehow, they don't even know how this time. It used to be because fags. Well, they they can't say that. I mean, like, look, the problem is these hurricanes almost always hit the red states, and right now we have Donald Trump as president, which all these guys have come out there and said that this is the chosen fucking president. So how do they spin that? You know, these hurricanes aren't hitting fucking, you know, Massachusetts or some somewhere, you know, like with a bunch of liberals in it. Uh, they're not hitting fucking California and shit. So, you know, there's no they got to say, oh, well, maybe it's a judgment somehow for some reason. But we don't know quite why or how, because, you know, it's it's all it's happening. All the good red state people who voted for Trump. So how do you spin that? Yeah. Uh, they still they still want to use the fear of God argument, but they just don't have anything specific to hang their hat on. It it's seems been, like maybe they were toying around with abortion a little bit, but it's been Obama for the last eight years. You have to remember they had the poster boy for why the disasters were happening, and now it's just a sin cloud. You know what I mean? Okay, Obama's gone, so uh, you'd think there'd be less hurricanes, but now there's this giant cloud of sin that has built up over this country, making storms. Am I off, or do you feel like it could be? Yeah. I think anything like this, it's not by accident. Those, these things, kinds of things don't happen by accident. Yeah, I, they, I agree with that. They don't, they don't happen by accident. They happen due to a bunch of natural processes that we fully understand. I mean, not, not fully, but damn near. I mean, enough where we can literally sit there and project the trajectory of a hurricane. I mean, we understand what a hurricane is and what the forces are behind it and what created it and why it happens. Yeah, and we can even project where it's going to go and how not, strong not it's going to be well, when it gets apparently. there. Uh, reasonably well. I mean, you know, there's different models and, you know, all that stuff, but, uh, and, you know, it's very hard to predict exactly how it's going to go, but, you know, for the most part, I mean, like, they said it was going to go up Florida, and it did, um, you know. Uh, so, I mean... We, we've got it pretty fucking down pat. If these hurricanes were just totally inexplicable and they were doing things that made no sense to us, like a hurricane just writes in cursive across the Atlantic Ocean, God is real, this is your judgment or something, 
then then maybe you've got a point. But since uh, since nothing like that happens, you're full of shit. In New Orleans, in that area, after Katrina, you know, Katrina meant cleanse. That's what the word means. Okay, it strikes uh, Key West, Florida, on the day they're supposed to have the Day of Decadence mm -hmm. parade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shuts it down, of course. Mm -hmm. Strikes New Orleans the day they're going to have their day of decadence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the southern decadence shit. Uh, the, you know, look, that happens all the time. There's, yeah, okay, sometimes it might get rained out or something, but, you know, God is not consistently shutting that down. Yeah, yeah why, it, why aren't any hurricanes hitting San Francisco when, like, the million gay man march happens and everybody's running around with their balls hanging out and shit? Like, you'd think that'd be the time to slap a hurricane on it. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's another thing that's weird is, like, if these hurricanes have nothing to do with, like, actual reasons why weather happens, how come they're all still happening in the same fucking part of the ocean? Like, how come they don't form and, like, shouldn't they be able to form anywhere if it's just sin that does it? Shouldn't a hurricane just a category five just appear in the sky above San Francisco and just like and level it to the fucking ground and wash it away? You know, if that's the reason, you know, God's like, you know, fuck these faggots <sighs> gone. Shouldn't every planned parenthood be struck by fucking lightning and burn to the fucking ground? I mean, if that's really God's objective, why doesn't that happen? Yeah, why does he keep aiming fucking hurricanes at the same spot on the map over and over again? I don't think so. You know, and if we don't get these clear messages, they're going to get more and more severe. Yeah. The Lord doesn't like to do things. He'd prefer mercy over judgment, but his judgments are mercy if we're not yes. listening. Yeah. If we're not listening, we're not hearing and responding. We have to stand up against the perversion of our times yes. and call it what it is. So he, he was, is, he talk, is he talking about Mardi Gras? Is that what he's talking about? Uh, no, he's talking about uh, the, the decadence festivals are like oh. big gay events. Oh, what? Like especially, there's like a, de a decadence. Uh, it's not called decadence fest. It's a uh, or day of decadence. It's uh, there's there's some fucking. It has the word decadence in it, but it's basically just like you know, it's basically like a big gay pride event, and you know, there's a lot of gay dudes, and they all get together and do their little you know rainbow flags and. You know, butt fucking in the alleyways or whatever the fuck goes on. Do you remember what the mayor of Houston did? She ordered all the preachers to turn in their sermons before they preached them. Yeah, this yeah. is the former mayor. Of but just remember, God gets the last word. Yeah. He has the big fucking food bucket sitting there on the table. Tasty pantry. Preaching God's word God in front of a 20-pound bucket of... Um. <laughs> Be not deceived, God is not mocked. All right, so I'm going to run and uh, take a quick break, like restroom break. Uh, so, yeah, you guys just do whatever you want. I'll be right back in just a couple minutes. All righty. What do we do at all? I don't know, man. Can you juggle? Oh, uh, you, you know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? I'll put, I might as well just put Streamlabs on. That way you guys can just read that's the a, shit. That's a good idea. Yeah, we yeah. can Streamlabs it. Streamlabs. Which is all, everyone's personal fuck you to Google. All right. I'm okay with saying fuck you to Google. That's 100% okay with me. You asked if I could juggle, and I can, but just my balls in their own sack. Well, that's still an impressive skill, Paul. But I can do that shit like, um, you know, from Labyrinth, that contact juggling with my balls. Like, I can do some pretty cool tricks with them, but the, the scrotum kind of fucking obscures it. That really sucks, because, you know, I, I mean, you know, that's, that'd be pretty cool. And we can't show that on YouTube anyway, so whatever. But, uh... uh that is pretty cool that you could do that, though. Yeah. I can, the arrange, balls going. I can arrange a private performance later for uh, a nominal fee. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll negotiate. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe that one guy who's always trying to pay to see your balls, can, uh, or your cock, actually. Maybe, yeah. he'll, maybe he'll chip Scam in. Scam situation. 
Uh, I guess we don't have to Any read this because apparently it's reading there? itself, hopefully. <laughs> need a Zao Da Dong uh, Bong mailed to these guys or for sale somewhere. Also, a do Zao you guys Bong like Hopeth? mailed to these guys? Zao okay. Da Bong, dude. Zao Da Bong. Zao Da Dong Bong. Zao Da Dong Bong Bong Da Dong. I love it. I'm so, down. So, you heard the manatee breached contract already, right? You think we should go after him? <laughs> I don't know how we would. I mean, I said we wouldn't, but maybe we should just go after him because he made me put that stupid provision in there. So I might as well go. I, I could probably just go after him in small claims court or something and get a judgment against him for like $5,000 or whatever the fucking maximum is you can sue for in small claims court. Just show him the contract. Be like, yeah, this fucker said he wasn't going to make YouTube videos anymore and he's still doing it. So uh, we'd like fucking $5,000 of his dumb ass. Get a Brett Keen voice for text to speech. Stay classy, guys. I don't think that we can. I mean, I don't know. Someone out there could probably make that if they had enough free time, for sure. Yeah, I don't think there's one ready for download, though. Is what I'm saying. Like, we'd have to. How, how do you even make one of those? Would you just have to have me say, just read the the dictionary? Uh, I guess so. Probably scam situation. I mean, with our with our fans, Google, we could probably just you cucks. go down a list Hail of like Lord cuck, fuck, Lord. suck, dick, shit, piss. Uh, hail the Edge Lord and the Salt Lord. This person says so. Thank you, Edward Thibodeau. Why? Thank you, sir. So you're the Salt Lord, and I'm the Edge Lord. I'm fine with that. Uh, ben, do you are you the Lord of anything? Scam situation. I don't know. Hey, CJ, mind if I send you a picture of my femboy ass so I can get you to vouch for me? What do you mean, vouch? Vouch how? Vouch for uh, what? That's that's creamsicle, and I've seen creamsicle in, on my streams uh, a lot. So, I mean, any, I mean, I can't stop you from sending me whatever you want. I'm not going to actively tell you to, because you know what happens is I'll, I'll fucking say, like, yeah, life. send it on over, and then I'll be like, I'm only 15 years old. You are a pedophile, sir. It's like, fuck that. But, you know, do what you want to do. Uh, Miss you, Paul. Best peasant forever. Thank you. Thank you, cool. thank you, thank you. Um, on. Yeah, I think if that's the same creamsicle person that I'm thinking of, uh, I think he, he actually does, like, uh, he's, he's like a cam boy. Oh. Yeah, he does, like, sex scam cam, situation. Cool. There once was a peasant named Ben, who talked on a show of four men. Threw oh, me damn. Away, but the ben rhyme? Wanted to stay. Now the rain... Oh, yeah, he will don't you them. worry, bitch. Ain't nothing ending anytime soon. <clears throat> but thank you for the $10. Your damn $10 it. and one cent actually helps the show keep going, so... Every time you give us money, you're keeping the show going. Scam situation. Doing an experiment in a greenhouse... And watching the peasants, you're part of my science. P.S. Ben could never ruin the show. Well, there you go. I ruin the show by staying. I should just, like, follow you guys wherever the fuck you want to go, regardless of my own personal interests. Yep. Yeah, Ben. What the fuck is wrong with you having your own will and shit? Yeah. Stupid. No. Stupid bastard. No, no. Scam situation. Allah has punished the great Satan America for its actions against the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. What was our punishment? The hurricane? Maybe that's true. And why is Allah protecting North Korea where there's probably zero people that worship him? Uh, good question. Solid question. Whatever. But, you know, that's a theory, though. It makes as much sense as anything Scam we heard of them situation. say. The drunken peasants show is my sexual fetish. Well, wow. happy, happy fapping, Mr. No Name. Uh -huh. Happy fapping. I appreciate the buckets that you will fill with uh, with jism watching this this beautiful mess unfold. Scam situation. Why did you guys move? Um, I think we've explained that. <clears throat> I mean, I, I explained that in my video on my channel. I've actually posted it on my channel and on uh, and on the Drunken Peasants channel, so you could check that out. It's the little announcement video I did just before the big uh, move and shit. 
explain the reasons Scam why in situation. there. I'm actually going. I'm actually going on twenty in January, and Paul is right. I do cam shows. I'd send it since you're a connoisseur of asses. So if you say it's good, it's got to be good, right? I yeah. Guess. I usually don't like uh, male asses that much, though, because they're usually not big enough to satisfy my 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 desires. But TJ needs maybe a big you're the fat scam ass. Situation. Maybe you're the exception. I don't know. I've definitely seen uh, dudes with with bubble butts before. Uh, two questions: How do how how's you guys all meet? And is Scotty dead again? Scotty is dead, and we all met at his funeral. Yes, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, we hit it off immediately. Totally makes chronological sense. Don't yeah, worry yeah. about it. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Scam. Forget situation. about it. All right, this is reading, I guess. It's reading now. The purpose of Let's Plays for me are to watch very obscure, weird, and shitty games that you might not be able to or want to play and hear them either get torn apart or fuck with people. I never saw the appeal yeah, of I can just understand the, the latest appeal AAA game of, on uh, video. Of watching it play like some shitty weird obscure game that you probably never pick up yourself and just have them show you what it's all Scam about and shit. situation. Dragon Ball as a series has seemed to resurge in popularity as of late. There are a lot of channels coming up with what ifs and predictions for Dragon Ball Super. I'd definitely pay for a special from Cinema for Cynics about there you the go. Dragon Ball movies. Uh, well that's interesting, but uh... You know, I don't know if we're going to do any Dragon Ball stuff, but I don't really think it's resurged in popularity. I feel like Dragon Ball's had pretty well-sustained popularity for a long time. Who are these dudes? Uh, they're new guests for yeah, the first uh, time. Yeah, my name is uh, Trumu, and uh, what's your name? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Saltesh, the genie. So it's, uh, it's Trumu and uh, Saltesh over there. Well, that's who we are. And I'm trying to get somebody to rub my fucking lamp, dude. Scam situation. There is a mosque in Pyongyang. Allah punishes imperialist aggression. Allah is with Assad, Iran, and Hezbollah. Damn. Pwned, Paul. Pwned. I, I hope that more like extremist groups take to giving money to live streams to get their propaganda out there. Uh -huh. Yeah, that trend could only help us, dude. Do you have any propaganda that you want spread wantonly Scam throughout situation. the world? Just, you know, send us five bucks. I wish we had more gays here. It's pretty dry. We could use uh, some of that Jesus wrath rain. Yeah, especially okay. since you're apparently a botanist, you know? You can't, have, you can't be a botanist in a, in a too dry of a climate. You know, you want there to be a robust array of plant life. Although I guess uh, someone has to study the plants in the desert, too. Go so, wherever he's at, TJ, and suck a few dicks and get some rain going there. Situation. That's, that's true, Paul. I'll, I'll think about it. Can you guys open your Twitter DMs so we can send you videos there? Fuck Facebook. No. Uh, you know, you can send them uh, on the Discord as well. We have a section on the Discord where you can put them. Um, and uh, you could always just tweet them at our Drunken Peasants account. Maybe we'll see them. Um, but we're not opening for DMs because it'll just be a fucking nightmare. Yeah, it'll. It, it's situation. not an intuitive uh, DM system. I love the new guy. Keep it up. I love the new guy. Keep it up. Thank you. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, the fan base has embraced me so warmly. Uh, so quickly here on my first appearance on the show. They were talking about. They were talking about me, TJ. This is really awkward. They were talking about me. Uh, my name is Trumu, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who this TJ character is, but uh, oh, Saltesh. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I think Saltesh, Saltesh is losing the plot over there. True moo, dude. All right. Is that just because you on. had a gallon of true moo milk sitting next to you? And <laughs> you fucking... My name is uh, 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 true moo. Uh, P. Tier Griffin. I came up with that on my own, too, by the way. True moo. Yep, I made that up. <laughs> yeah, I made that up right now. That was my idea. Crazy. I'm a Bitch, you that crazy. Was an original thought. Apparently, this is like an ex-boyfriend, like uh, trying to get into this woman's house. Bitch, you crazy. I'm a murder. You suck my dick. Bitch, you, you crazy. You want FaceTime with another nigga? Bitch, you suck crazy. Suck my dick. You go try to break my heart. You fucking bitch. bitch. You crazy. You what? You bro? broke my heart first. What? what? All what? right. You fucking broke my heart first. Uh, hold on. And I left you. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Okay. This dude's trying to break in through this little tiny ass window. 
<laughs> and he's just like, I'm going to murder you. And, uh, and you know, it's so casual. And she's just so casually back. is like, you crazy. You crazy. You crazy. You crazy. You can, you, can, you can tell this is probably like status quo in this relationship. Like every fight, yeah. somebody's threatening murder. And then They've been through this before. And then there's makeup sex, like like insane, like I'm gonna murder you makeup sex after that. Murder you with this dick, bitch! Yeah. Oh, what did you fucking bitch? What? You. you crazy. What did you fucking bitch? You crazy. Uh, Maybe you, you should nothing. scoot up and like poke his wang through the window and huh? see if they can have Glorial. some makeup sex. That's it. Uh, here's, Maybe here's you should find a larger window to try to break through because that would that would help too. You know, there's no way you're fitting through that one. Like even if you. Like there's no yeah it's, you're not you're not fitting there. This one's called uh, "Racist Lady Orders Hispanic Woman to Speak English." Yo no estoy ofendiendo a nadie. Okay. Yo no estoy ofendiendo a nadie. Okay. You have the freedom to speak about what you're saying right now. You can't say that to my parents. They speak English not perfect, but they speak it. Yes. We want English. Shut up. Yeah, no hablo español porque no quiero español. Mira, No hablo español. 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 No No hablo español. No 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 chemicals into my body that are probably shortening my lifespan and shit. This is why. I don't want to be this lady someday. Like, I don't want to oh, live what? to be old. Yeah, I don't want to live to be old <laughs> enough where I'm standing in a fucking IHOP waiting room yelling at people because they're Mexican. Like, I just don't want to get there. So, I'm hoping to keel over in about 10 years or so. You think you would, though? <laughs> uh, I don't know, dude. I see these, like... Usually when you're seeing one of these, like, you ought to be speaking English and blah, blah, blah. It's just, I, I just imagine this old lady's life. Like, she's just sitting in, a, like, a, a flower upholstered chair in, like, her fucking little <laughs> subsistence apartment worrying about Mexicans all day. Like, I don't, want, I don't want that. It's funny because later on she talks about freedom of speech, but doesn't freedom of speech protect you to speak a different language if you want to? I would say yes. No. no. Yeah, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Go back to Spain. Quiet. Be Go quiet. back to Spain. I speak English too. Well, I, huh? Okay. I speak English. Not good. I speak English. I jump in this country. I jump in this country. Fuck yeah. you. Fuck you. You idiot. You idiot. I jump. Yeah, it's jump. your fault for doing that. What a clusterfuck. It's speak your fault. English it's in your English. fault for okay. doing that. I clean office. I clean restroom. Calm down. Calm the fuck down. Just I'm English down. in America. Yeah, I speak English. Yeah, I'm not good, but I speak English, okay? That's stupid. I hope that you you're racist. Racist. It's more racist. And she's not from Spain, I need to though, close though. up these hair borders. Yeah, what yeah. Well, what a fucking dumb bitch. It's so don't be racist Spain like that. Is. Spanish is from Spain. You can't be doing that. That's I've been racism. to Spain, so I know. I don't care. <laughs> I, you know, I took a I took a cruise to Spain, so I'm now an expert. Yeah, did somebody when you were in Spain her, follow you around and harangue you for not speaking Spanish constantly? You dumb. No. Cunt? Maybe no. they did, but she didn't understand because it was in Spanish. You know. <laughs> I don't, I don't care. care, that's why I'm saying it. Yeah, I doubt she spoke any Spanish while in Spain and no one gave her shit. What a dumb hypocrite. Yeah, they you even gave me a nickname thing. over there in Spain. It's stupida. They'd it's follow like, me around and call me Estupida all the time. Do you want the Russians over here telling you what to do? What? Do you want the Nazis telling you what to do? That's what you're doing to my mom. You're telling her what to do. We want she speaks English. English. In the She's United not perfect, States. but she speaks English. You can't do that. Yeah, we, uh, we have freedom of speech. You see? You're the. <laughs> Alright, I'm not understanding your argument at this point. She what has you, freedom of what speech. What are you fucking yammering about? She has freedom of speech to bitch about her speaking Spanish, but the woman speaking Spanish doesn't have freedom of speech to speak Spanish, is what's going on. We want that freedom. 
Yeah, but, but you can't be telling anyone. You speak yeah. English because we're in America. You don't do that. I don't tell you how to live and you live here. This is America. We yes. have the freedom to and do we what want we English. want. We don't we want the, the Nazis freedom. back. We don't want... <laughs> the Nazis the... spoke Spanish, by the way, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, what does some lady speaking Spanish in a fucking IHOP waiting room have to do with Nazis coming back? <laughs> uh, literally fact? nothing. Literally yeah, absolutely talk... fucking nothing. About Nazis here. We don't want Who's to talking about Nazis back. here? Who's talking about Castro here? Castro was he never here. Yeah. I mean, I believe there's evidence that he did live in the U.S. at one time, but when he was, like, way younger. Well, yeah, I, he, think. I think he was educated here. Yeah. Look that. That's you being see, racist. You can't to do that. You see, we have no freedom. Yeah, you can't tell someone what to do, though. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you to learn Spanish. I don't care if you don't speak Spanish. I don't want Spanish. I've okay. been to Spain. She speaks English. You have been to Spain, and I have. I have been to Spain before. Oh, what the fuck does that have to do with... What does it have to do with anything? I'm sorry, your points are total gibberish, bitch. Like, at least if you're... Look, if you're just gonna, like, I hate Mexicans and I don't want to hear Spanish, just stick with that. What the fucking Nazis have to do with it? What your trip to Spain has to do with it? None of that fucking... That's all just completely fucking immaterial. Just shut the fuck up. Be like, you know what? I hate Spicks. That's my. That, that's that's where your argument begins and ends. All this other stuff you're trying to put around it just doesn't work for you. You might I as well be standing. I wonder when she screams, "I've been to Spain." What she thinks is going to happen as a result of that? Like the guy's going to go like, "Oh, well, I'm sorry, uh, mom, mama, mama, mama." She's been to Spain, so we can't. You know, like what? Like how does that support you at all? I speak Spanish too. Who cares? They're not. Our if freedom, they have people like you, that's sad. Freedom, if they have people like you, that's sad. Our freedom is our freedom important. Is to do what we, we want. We fought for our she freedom. She works. We fought she cleans for our offices. freedom. She cleans offices. Yeah, well, good for her. But you can't do that. You well, have to change your heart country. or you're going to die I'm really saying. soon. Right. You're going to die really we're soon. All, if you... Yeah, we're all going to die, yeah, you see? But the you're going to die soon. But you're going to die real soon. The the are here. Are here. That's why I'm voting no for Trump. Yeah. No, no for Trump. No, no for Donald no. Trump. That didn't, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> Trump won anyway, bitch. Trump trained and run your ass over. Freedom. No. And that's the end of that one. <laughs> wow, man. I mean that was some strange gibberish. This show right makes there. like being on this show makes me not want to go in public, ever. What a change for you! Fuck <laughs> you. It's true. Unless you come up with a conspiracy to get him to leave the house, of course. Yeah, a conspiracy yeah. to play with a laggy controller. Yep. Oh, there's all kinds of enemies around, Paul. You better yeah. off out there. Yeah. Where people can see. Where Gale people are arguing. The Gale Shield is winning against Brent Spiner's clone. That's good to know. Okay, it's not that bad, actually, for uh, how Gale lives in Florida. How close Irma is to me. Let's see if we can get a timestamp in here now. Okay. Um, this is what it looks like September 10th, 227 p.m., and... Uh, her Hurricane Irma is approaching Naples, Florida right now. Um, as you can see, it's not that bad. I expected it to be worse winds. Of course, I think we're not going to get the worst winds till about um, 12 or 13 hours from now. I'm definitely going to have to work out indoors with the windows open. I'll window open a crack. We've had some tornadoes. You can see some of the wind right there, see? But Let's see if really she talks that. about it. I'm going to have to trust Jesus to take care of me because I do need to get some rest. You know, I can't just stay up all the time and worry about everything. <laughs> Where the fuck is she? Like, because uh, I haven't seen a video from her for a few days. So. Or Vadim, man. Yeah, they're oh, no. all dead. Oh, her no. and Vadim, you know what? Well, guess what? Her and Vadim, they shacked up. They both fucking ended up at the same Applebee's to seek shelter from the storm. And uh, Vadim and Gail are now an item. And Did Gail's titties come flopping out? 
Yeah, and she uh, renounced uh, Brent Spiner, and now she's all about Vadim's dick, dude. Holy uh, she, shit. She's on there. She's blowing Vadim in the fucking Applebee's as we speak, dude, with the floodwaters rising around them. It's Actually, a beautiful Vadim, thing. Vadim was sending me uh, private messages or, or like just a few hours ago, so I've heard from Vadim. He's fine. He's just uh, rationalizing why uh, he made a ridiculous video. I don't know if you guys saw the video that he made, but I'm not even going to play it on the show because... I don't want to give him more attention, so... Tightening right now. I mean, we already gave him quite a bit, but... But yeah. I kept waking up last... Do you want to see it? Uh, is it about the Applebee's thing? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, are you kidding me? No, I don't really want to see it, but I mean, I don't know. Your morbid uh, curiosity compels you? I mean, I'm kind of curious, yeah. I'm a little curious. Let me see if I can find this piece of shit. Hold I mean, on. you just want to, I, I just want to explain to the guy that, like, look, like, it was funny. You were funny, and the playoff of it was funny, and people laughed at it. And get over it, man. It doesn't even matter if it fucking happened. It doesn't. I, it, it was just a joke. I'm pulling it up right now. He did it on his own channel. He's going to be so happy that we played this fucking video. He got what he wanted. You, you win, Vadim. You win. We're going to pay attention to you. But you don't get to, you don't get to just like decide when you get to come on the show. I'm sorry. That's what not your choice. You are, he 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 legitimately contacted you and was like, "I want to be on the show." And you said, "No. What a piece of shit, man." I was already doing the show. I know, dude. Like how dare you not drop everything you're doing and bring Vadim on? Yeah. What a piece of so, shit. hey guys, what's up? It's Vadim. Uh, I'm putting on these Terminator X glasses because I just, I really want to be taken super seriously right now. I'm about to be heading to the shelter not too long from now, so I thought I'd just like fire off a really quick video. Um, because there's all this shit having to do with, with Applebee's and drunken peasants and everything. There's nothing. There was no shit. There was no shit happening. Okay, nothing. yeah, there's nothing. Listen, there's nothing happening. There's literally, it happened, and occasionally we reference it as a joke, and you've been butthurt about it, and other than that, nothing's happening. There's not some angry mob out there like, We demand to know the truth about what happened at the Applebee's! That's not happening. Quit acting like that's happening. It's never going to happen. No one gives a flying fuck, okay? It's just, ha-ha, <laughs> Vadim said he saw an orgy at the Applebee's. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, I believe him, maybe. Ah, well, you know, whatever, but that's it. That's it. That's well, what happened. I think for the most part, there there was something that I was genuinely kind of, that I, I, I genuinely felt dissed about. Who says dissed? Like, what year are we in now? Is it 1994? I mean, like, oh, dude, you dissed me. That's a sick burn. And I do think that it's totally understandable for me to feel that way. Yet, at the same time, I will admit two things. I totally fucking overreacted. And on top of that, in my overreaction, I articulated what made me feel what I think made me feel legitimately dissed um, horribly in like a way that makes it so understandable the fact that I, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of flack. And even, even fucking secular talk, Kyle Kolinsky okay. called me. Hold on. You're getting flack because you pulled this like attention whore garbage. That's why. This is so. I, I, you know what? I regret asking you to pull this. this yeah, is fucking this is yeah. so bad, dude. This, this is, is so fake. fucking awful. Listen, Paul. Paul. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, you, uh, you told a little bit of of a Deem story earlier. Do you wanna? Do you wanna tell a little more? <sighs> dude, I've avoided. I, I've avoided it for so long. Are you gonna talk about like the Stanley Kubrick story? Uh, well, yeah, like, yeah, like, the fucking retail, okay, fuck it, I'll just tell All you. Alright, here you go, story time with Pulp. Oh, but we're gonna give Vadim something to actually be butthurt about now. Oh, God.
So, like a long time ago, right when I first started coming on the show as a guest, Vadim wanted to do like a Brett Keen video on the on the CC channel. So he hits me up, and he's been on the show, and he's a cool guy. So he's like, "Yeah, man, you want to do this? We'll just bang it out. We'll just you know, I I'll have a script for you. We'll just bang it out." And uh, I was like, "Sure, man, whatever." He's like, "Yeah, dude, an hour max or whatever." So I I meet him via Skype, you know. Uh, the day that he wanted to, and we're we're going through the recording, and I'm kind of broadcasting live as I'm recording, and like the Brett Keen voice is not a hard thing to do, it, and, it, and it doesn't require a whole lot of retakes. You, I mean, it's just something you just kind of do. But he wanted, he kept me there for like two and a half hours that night, recording and discussing things, and like discussing different ways, and like almost like writing the script as we went. And then at the end of it, I'm like, okay. And he's like, yeah, so, you know, we could probably get back together tomorrow and uh, bang the rest of this out. And I'm like, for fuck's fucking sake. Like, he would have me, he'd have me go, like, I'd say a line, and I can't remember any of the lines from it. Like, hey there, you know, like, hey there, say, say, it's me, Brett Crane. And he'd be like, okay, Paul, that was pretty good, <laughs> but could you give me, like, a little bit more of a peek on the uh, <laughs> CC part and a little less on the how you doing? And I'm like, all right. Uh, hey there, CC. How are you doing? It's Brett Keane. He'd be like, I like that, but can you... And, I mean, it was just over and over and over and over again for this video. I've never worked... Like, I've never done so many retakes for a video in my life. For for once for that Brett Keen video, I probably sat with, with with Vadim all told like six hours, re-recording and like adding things and subtracting things and shit. It was fucking insane. So yeah, I've never told that story on the on the show because I was like, whatever, you know. Wasn't there like a lighting to... thing too? Oh yeah, that was that's right. I forgot about that shit. So like we wanted he wanted to use my picture, but at the time. Uh, like I had a, a window in the room I used. Oh, to you know what? In. Actually, I think this was the true Scotsman because he had you do two videos. Yeah, it might have been the true Scotsman. Yeah. I can't even remember, to be honest with you. But on one of the fucking videos, I had like it was night when we did our first recording session, which should have been the only recording session for the fucking thing. And then we had me come back the next day. He was like, I don't know how I'm gonna match up the lighting, you know, because you got sun coming through and shit. And I'm like, just fucking f please. Can we just make this stupid video, please, and be done? Like, they're, they, I'm sorry, it, it shouldn't take six hours to record 15 seconds of Brett Keane talking to Creationist Gat. Dude, I love that so much. Look, the crazy thing is that um, it was, like, almost the exact opposite experience of, like, when I worked with uh, with Dark Matter to do that um, that little amazing atheist meets God thing that he did. Like, he just sent me some stuff, and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to improvise some shit. And now he's like, okay, and I did it, and I sent it to him. He's like, okay, I'll animate this, and he did, and it turned out fucking great. You know, so it's just like that the, – the amount the – amount the fact that you had to spend six hours to put out – I mean, that Brett Keen video that CeCe did, I mean, I'll, I'll say right here and now, it was good. Yeah, it was good. The true, Scott, the true Scotsman was good, too. Most CeCe's sure. videos are fucking good. Uh, and he's obviously a perfectionist, but, I mean, like, I think that – you know, it's kind of ridiculous thinking that you really need that level of precision for that kind of fucking video, you know, like, it, oh, no, it's it makes such a huge difference if you fucking if you emphasize this syllable as opposed to this one, you know, uh, that's just so he's like a fucking he really does treat it like a Stanley Kubrick almost kind of process. huh? I mean, it, it kind of felt that way. It was very like <laughs> retakes and rereads and shit. And like I. Like, sometimes I would do a read of a line that I couldn't tell the difference between the one I gave before. And he was like, yep, all right, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. A little more like that, but one more time. A special snowflake. And you know what? Judging from what he saw, I I get it. You know? I mean, honestly, I do do get it. Um, again, I, I think that there is genuine grounds for me to feel dissed. Uh, maybe that's something that maybe we could talk about at some point on, on the drunken peasants, but for the record, <laughs> that's, I think that's what it's about. Yeah. That's what, that's what it's really about. Yeah. So now you've actually been dissed a couple yeah. of times. 
So Third, um, even though that I felt that way, I apologize to Ben for uh, kind of how I articulated things and some of the things that I said. They were just fucking confusing. And guys, uh, excuse yeah, me. I, I, Hold on. Uh, I, that way you delivered that line just didn't make any sense to me. You said it's just fucking confusing. I want you to put way more <laughs> emphasis on fucking and a little space there. Like, it's just fucking confusing. Yeah, like, can you deliver it more like that, maybe? <laughs> and uh, also, can you cover that light source behind you? Because that's yep. it's really messing up with the shots we did yesterday, Vadim. You know, uh, we can also see his reflection in his sunglasses too. We need to fix that. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back and digitally redo that reflection to yeah. make everything one hundred percent consistent, Vadim. Because you know, right now, what you're giving me is trash, Vadim. I know you're better than this. You're more. You're capable of more than this, Vadim. I am Sorry, about to like head to a shelter because buddy. fucking Hurricane Irma is headed for my house, and that is really, really nerve wracking. So maybe that sort of contributes to kind of where my head is at, and and that tweet itself. But the last thing that I want to say that I really just want to like for everybody to know. I really don't give a fuck about the the Applebee's thing. I mean, lies. Yeah, uh, what? I, I kind of like what? You could have fooled us, dude. You could have fooled us. Fuck me. To Didn't clear care. up my name okay. for those who think that that I was lying about it, but overall, I think it's it's really funny. I always did. Uh, there's a lot of people who. <laughs> I are, mean, uh, you the, the, your your actions don't really fucking back that up. From what I hear, the night that the whole fucking Applebee's story happened, you spent like four hours in our Discord trying to re-explain it to people to make them believe that you were telling the truth. So this whole like narrative that you don't give a shit one way or the other, whether people believe you or not, is... I don't think it really holds water, my dude. Like, you're making another fucking video about it here. People that don't... Like, I don't give a fuck. Let's, let me think of something I don't give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck about uh, how sanitary outhouses are in Oklahoma. So you don't see me making fucking videos about outhouse sanitation in Oklahoma. You see how that works? Up, in, up until this point, who have uh, portrayed me as being butthurt about that, if you actually look through my, my comments and stuff, you'll see that I always joke about it. This is the first time where I can legitimately see people thinking that I all right 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 next video <laughs> you've seen enough welcome to gray street so grateful that you're here in the house today it is. pastor mike bickle is in the house <laughs> great to have you here hudson. How, how old are you hudson uh, wow like like six or something <laughs> Wow. Uh, six, six and a half. Okay. Six or something. Why do you do this? Why do you do this? <laughs> this is like some weird uh, mashup ago, of this. I called him on stage spontaneously. You know, there's a couple thousand people in the congregation. Okay. And he said, he goes, once with a T. Right. I was born with a D. Born. Yeah. Why do you do this for two years, ever since you said you were little when you were four? Do you know what an abortion is? Oh. <laughs> I've been in seven prisons. I, I, I don't even know what to do with this. I know. It's, it's amusing. All right, I mean, it's, it's definitely funny, but I just don't know what we can add to it to make yeah, it funnier. I'll play it's the next video. Just, it's already funny on its own. Right, here's the fucking deal. So, you know all these, uh, like, protesters and shit? And, uh, all these snarky-ass motherfucking pieces of shit. Cartoons. And, uh, like, frog monster people shit. Whatever. Oh, he's talking about the well, you know what? Hey, some of the Kekistanis, your 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 friends. Uh, we call them Keks around here, TJ. You in the South now? We call them a bunch of Keks. Kekers. Social justice warriors. Fuck it. Let's just do what they want. Reparations. 
single payer health care, free college, narcolepsy. Um, huh? Why people get spankings every Thursday? There you Ooh. go, TJ. T oh yeah, TJ's on board now. Oh, it's, that's some kinky shit. All right. Only for white people. Yeah. Um, Spank my naughty white ass. I'm sorry, I pressed you for so long. And yeah. And yeah. Man, this guy's got Let's the soul just do of a performer. It. Fuck I'm it. telling you. Who cares? I'm just yeah. so sick and tired -A -O, of all these motherfuckers. Well, like frog me, monsters and the behind their fucking computer desks, making these goddamn fucking obnoxious fucking videos. What when are there's you people doing? out there fighting for a cause, even if it's a pointless cause. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> there's people out there doing shit. When was the last time you went out into the street? And is he drunk? Oh yeah, he's definitely drunk. And demanded something. Never. Never. You just make you stupid fucking videos. Wait a minute. Wait, honestly, wait, 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 wait. At the beginning of this, he was against the protesters, but now he's saying that we're even worse because we don't go out and fight for nothing. We just make our stupid videos. Dude, this guy's against everybody. He's just, he's, he's fucking tearing in all of them, man. Like, let if I fuck frogs and cartoons and all bullshit. Like, God, why don't you open the your fucking eyes? Warriors. Wake yeah, up. Yeah. Seem a lot the more gets honorable fucking, it's smelling than you little something. fuckers in your fucking little corners with your fucking editing software. <laughs> what? Your fucking editing so software, man. Think... Fuck you with your fucking editing software. You know what, Paul? I want you to do this, dude. I want you to find this video. I want you to transcribe what this dude is saying, and I want you to deliver it like as a super impassioned fucking speech, dude. All right. I want you to take this guy's fucking drunk, slurring mess of a speech, and I want you to turn it into something with gravitas and passion. Dude, if somebody helps me transcribe that shit, I'll do it, dude. All if right, this... somebody... Some some bored fucking drunken peasants fan out there with no life, find this video, transcribe that motherfucker, and send it to Paul, and I'll fucking load it up in our teleprompter, and I'll make his ass sit there and fucking read this with gravitas and with passion. Show this guy what's what. Show him how much more powerful his words are when they come from fucking Paul's ego. That's all this really needs, man. I agree with everything he's saying. Protesters are pieces of shit. People that make videos are pieces of shit. People that watch cartoons are pieces of shit. I get it, man. <laughs> it just needs it just needs that passion. You know? That's the general consensus of my uh how I've been feeling lately. <laughs> okay, a one man consensus, dude. <laughs> one man consensus. Good. Includes everybody. Sargon, TJ, everybody. Man. What? Don't come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dropping names. Dogon, CJ. I'm glad that I'm still, at least in this person's mind, the first name after Sargon. Because usually, if I'm even in there anymore, it's down. It's down at like number eight or nine. You know? Dude, at least then, in this guy's mind, I'm still number two on the fucking totem pole. Somebody in the chat said we should put this guy on slow mo and see what he sounds like. Dude. All right. Here we I go. thought he already fucking was. Here so, social justice warriors are ten times more honorable than slower. any of you. He's slower? Okay. Fucking cocks. <laughs> because you're just sitting behind your fucking <laughs> computers <laughs> and like a fucking echo chamber, man. <laughs> and you don't even realize that, like, SJWs, you probably agree with them on, like, 
Forty percent of shit. Oh my god, dude, this guy is amazing. This is uh, this is one of the best videos we've ever watched here. On yes, the show. I agree. This is a masterpiece. And so what? Why people get spankings every Thursday? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? That's passion. So whatever. Who this goes out to all the skeptic YouTubers right here. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're a bunch of fucking pieces of shit. Wow. I'm what sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to disappoint you so horribly. I mean, you you can't get away that easily, TJ. You need to offer this man a full retraction of your previous videos. I'll tell you what. On the first, uh, on the first white spank white people Thursday, I offer my ass to this man. I want his drunken, slurry uh, discipline to befall my, my booty meats. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't you be, uh, like, punished, though? What's that? I said, shouldn't you be punished, though, and not rewarded? Uh, you know, he's the one. It's his idea, dude. Let's just go with his idea. Only for white people. All right, so next one. Uh, crazy lady pissed off in Best Buy. She's like, I don't give a fuck if he's taping yeah. you. I hope so, bitch. You can call him. Okay, stop taping me. You can call him. You don't if you go want. taping me. Why? It's not illegal. And why are you taping me? Really? You know what? Don't tape me. Is yeah, that what are funny? The laws? Is that funny to you? What are you gonna put me on YouTube? Because I'll sue you. We can record anything. She's not entertaining. Don't touch him, Mike. Don't touch him. Put it. Don't record me. Don't record me. That's not okay. nice. That's fine. I'm not. That's not nice. It's against the law. If you don't, people don't have approval. Do you know that? You're being. I mean, like, I can see the black uh, camera hanging from the ceiling right now. She's being yeah, taped being anyway. Recorded. Yeah, I don't know where she has this idea that people need approval to film her uh, as she goes about. And, I mean, like, Best Buy can have a policy against that because it's their private property. But um, she has no expectation of privacy walking around in public. If you put me on YouTube, I could sue you. Okay. My husband's an attorney and I know these okay. things. That's fine. Well, knock it off. Is he with you? Yes, he's with me. Really? Okay. Knock it off. You allow your kid to do it? That's why this country is the way it is. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yes, it is. Knock it off. That's why this country is the nice. way it is. You don't record people. You put me on YouTube, I'll look and I'll make sure I'm not. Yeah, make sure you uh, search for crazy bitch goes off like a dumb cunt in a Best Buy, and you'll yeah. find yourself. Sadly, she probably won't be the first result, but... All right, that's it. Yeah, right, how could she have any expectation of easily finding herself on YouTube? And uh, also, I mean, wow. All right, here's the next one. <laughs> that dude in the background is great. It's, it's not, not fucking, fucking raining. raining. He deserves an award. <laughs> and that's your problem, not ours. Why isn't that his problem? You put this on yourself. Your father or your Why father? isn't that his problem that he can't just move over there? Because you're still going to be complaining. Why? I hope that's just a bundle of trash this woman is carrying and not a child. That's all I really care about right now. It's her blankie. Why doesn't it have to be about him? Why? Shut up! It's about him! It's not. Yes, it is about him! It's about him! What the fuck 
is going on? I don't so, even know. Someone just told her she needed Jesus. I hate it when people do that. You need Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Jesus would fix that crazy. He doesn't been moved to a different seat. I had to sit there and be tortured by him all day. You're not being tortured. Make him move. You're not being chained up and being fucking hit with cattle prod. Huh? You're not being tortured. Make him move. You're just making a situation worse because you don't want to shut up and move. Stop it. It's about him. He won't move. God, I hope someone tasers her. <laughs> yes, it is! You're really irritating me. I don't slap old people, but you're irritating me. What could I have ever done to get She doesn't what now? She doesn't what? I didn't hear it. What could I ever have said or done to get it? Oh my god, this woman has the most annoying voice on the face yeah. of the planet. Wow, this goes on forever. This goes on <laughs> forever. This goes on for 10 minutes. Fuck that. I would get off the fucking train or bus or whatever the fuck How this is. How could I have ever gotten him to move? You didn't speak up loud enough. You were macho enough. You didn't try hard enough. He's not gonna move! Wow. No matter how hard I try, he's not Dude. gonna move! Dude. I can't even imagine... Can you imagine this woman being someone in your fucking personal life? I was just thinking the same shit. Like, can you imagine having to deal with her on a daily? Oh, my God. Fuck. I would just... No. No way. You no ever just wonder how way. people... Like, like how people like her got to the point that they're at? Because I, I have a feeling she just didn't snap today. I have a feeling she's like this in her life. She goes about day-to-day -day life. She gets food and water and presumably shelter and a bathroom and, like... How does her life, how, is, how does she structure her life? First I get up and I eat some breakfast and then I walk out of my house and I check the mail and then... She's like, oh my god, no. No. Shut up. Right, you don't have to scream, you don't have to fucking have a shrill, crazy fucking voice. Just please. That, yeah, that Come. was the worst. Take a fucking chill pill. So you know what? You need to take lessons from the dude whose video we were watching earlier who was just Headman cartoon. Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> it has been eight years of the Ligorich pipe. Ligorich pipe has been haunting people for eight years. Today I will show its ultimate power. Uh, uh, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Girl, yeah, rock on, dude. <laughs> How Wonder Twin Powers activates. Yeah. Yeah, you gonna fight? You wanna fight, bitch? He just did a Kamehameha or a, or a, uh, or a Hadouken. I'm, I'm, I'm defeated, dude. I can't do that fucking... I can't fuck with that Hadouken. His power level's over 9,000 for sure. Look, look at that fucking mug on this dude. Like, damn. Yeah, dude, this one ugly son of a bitch. But you know what? He, he's, that, he's got that level of ugliness where it's actually kind of... Uh, it's kind of working for him a little, you know? It's, it's that ugliness that has character. Like, this dude could easily be a character actor. Throw this yeah. motherfucker in some movies, you know? Have him be the fucking hillbilly at the gas station, you know, or whatever. No, no, no. I see the handsome leading man. Maybe the next oh, James yeah. Bond. Possibly the next James Bond. Dude, if they, if, dude, honestly, if they made a James Bond movie starring this guy, like, I would <laughs> fucking, I'd see that. I mean, you know, I wouldn't see it because I was taking it seriously. But, you know, I'd be like, yeah. okay, well, that's just too crazy not to watch. Paul, you, you're missing out, dude.
this guy is uh this guy's a tough <laughs> thing. <laughs> this guy's a thing, dude. I already uh, love him. I already love him. Unfortunately, you missed him. Uh, I mean, that's that's the end of that video. Show, show it again. Show I it should? Again. Okay. Yeah. Show it again. Right. God bless. It has been eight years of the Ligorich pipe. Ligorich pipe has been haunting people for eight years. Today I will show its ultimate power. <laughs> All right, we got to get this guy on the show pronto. Oh, watch what he does. Forwards Hadouken. Holy shit. This guy's fucking brilliant. Is yeah. that not is that not one of the most talented motherfuckers you've ever seen in your life, Paul? That accent a, sounded Finnish. He's, he's a star. A Finnish guy. Yeah. Well, uh, I just want to say whoever this guy is, he's a hero. Well, take some calls now. Some prank calls yes, to this, this show. Deadly squat. Deadly squat. Hello? Fuck you! <laughs> Yes, this is Deadly Squat. Hello, Deadly Squat? Yes, sir. You look like fucking something. This is Deadly Squat? Yes, Deadly. Uh, Shakespeare also mentioned for you to suck my dick. Yes, this is Deadly Squat. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Yeah, what's up, Deadly? I can't hear you. Can you speak up? Or... What's up, Deadly? Yes. This is Deadly Squat. Shut the fuck up! This is Deadly Squat. Yes, this is Deadly Squat. <laughs> Dude, I wish there was a way for us to create a way for like everybody that watches this show live to do like a segment like this where we're just we we could just we'd even call it Deadly Squat. We could just like give them three seconds. Oh, yes, man, we we used squat. we used to do that kind of shit back in the day. Uh, it it was ridiculous, and everyone stopped watching while it was happening. Diddly yeah. Squat Diddly Squat looks like he's having a good time though. No. Yeah, Diddly Squat, he doesn't he doesn't seem too perturbed. He's just kinda like, oh well I can't control it. Now uh, I don't want you to put cock teasers on. I don't <laughs> need them. Yes, this is Diddly Squat. Wait a minute, was that a clap back? Yep. yep. Cock teasers? Cock yep. teasers? What? Okay. Yes, this he was is a Diddly little turned squat. on by that last one. Yes, this is Deadly Squat. Deadly! Oh, I can't believe you put me on, baby! How you doing? How have you been? All right. Do you want me to do the same one you recorded, or do you want a different orgasm? Different orgasm. A different one? How about this one? Okay. Oh, Deadly. Oh, Deadly. Oh, yeah, he's not hanging up on this one. You notice that? <laughs> the dirty <laughs> is loving it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Quickie, but it was good, Diddly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, hold on. Diddly Squat's show is fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> this is, I this is what we should be fucking aspiring That's what towards, I was dude. Diddly Squat's got this shit figured out, dude. This is. You like that? You like that? I, you, you know what? You should pay me for putting me on months after I gave you my first orgasm. Dude, dude, I want to fucking assemble. Well, I want to assemble like an Avengers. You don't call in after the show, so I'm not going to ask you to do that. But wait a second, you put me on already. Shouldn't I get something from you? A dinner? A lunch? A breakfast? Ooh, how about an all-nighter? An all-nighter. A big-time <laughs> orgasm all night, and then just a simple breakfast. Well, well, wait a minute. Well, what all-night diner Square. do you, do you know about? Like 495 at Chelsea Square. All, an all-night diner. Okay. <laughs> yes, this is... Yeah, that's Square. what she was talking about. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yes? Is this Diddy Squad? Yes. How are you doing? Hello? Yes, this is Diddy Squad. I'd like to ask a couple of questions. Yes. Um, 
Are you married? Call in after the show. <laughs> Hello? Yes? How you doing? How yes, you doing? This is Deadly Squat. No! Uh, okay. This show is a masterpiece, dude. Alright, listen, folks. I, you know, listen, go listen, with... listen, listen. Listen, this is what I want. I want Diddly Squat, and I want the fucking Quasimodo-looking motherfucker that did the forward <laughs> Sudoken, and I want the drunk slurry guy, and I want them all on a crime-fighting team controlled by me, with me as the Nick Fury, and I send them out on fucking adventures, and that's our fucking show right there. Can Hong yes. Kong Fooey be on the team, too? Only because we want his theme song. If we can license <laughs> yeah. the theme song, yes, if we can that's... get that Hong Kong Fooey theme song licensed, then yes, Hong Kong Fooey can be on there as well. It's catchy Did, as fuck. Diddly wouldn't make a very good uh, crime fighter, I don't think. Uh, none, of them, none of them necessarily would be good at crime fighting, but you know, that'd be an entertaining show. Uh, Diddly would keep getting distracted by every woman that walked by cock teasing him. You know? That does Diddly squat. On to the next spot. And um, I, I addressed this to the young lady that called and offered me a threesome. <laughs> now, I want to thank you for that. She offered me to, the, to participate in a threesome. And I want to thank you for that. But I, I, I want you to know that I haven't turned your offer down uh -huh. out of hand. Um, however, there is a dilemma. The dilemma is this. Two other young ladies independently have called and offered me a blowjob. Another young lady called and performed phone sex. Wow, diddly squat. What the fuck, dude? He's, he's yeah. a fucking ladies man. He looks, like, he looks like Grandpa Munster. Dude, Diddly Squat's got a bunch of bitches that want to squat on his Diddly, dude. That is how, that's how so he you rolls. you see my, my dilemma. I don't see the dilemma at all. Yeah, yeah. dude, you don't see it? Well, you wouldn't, because you don't get hit on yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand it, I guess. Because I would figure, you know, you get the blowjobs, you know, you could, you could, you know, schedule that shit out, you know? There's blowjob. Only... I, mean, only, I understand there's only so many hours in the day yeah, and shit. But. There's only so many pussies that you can fuck in a day. When you got three women offering a blowjob and you got two women offering phone sex. Well, I mean, why are, are, are all these offers like on a fucking timer? Like they can only happen in a certain time period? I mean, like, because it seems like he could get the fucking threesome and then get the blowjobs like later, you know? He's talking about tonight. Oh, oh so it's show. all tonight. It's all tonight. Well, you know what? I, I I think he should go with the threesome, dude. I think he should go with the threesome, Diddly. What if one of those other bitches gives the best blowjob ever, though? Yeah, I guess there is that. But you know what? If the threesome is not satisfying, he could always go to one of those bitches later in the night, you know? He'd be like, you know what? This threesome ain't all that. I'm gonna go get my blowjob. Finish myself off. You gotta be a coxman like Diddly Squat. <laughs> coxman. I mean, obviously, Diddly Squat is a fucking god among men. I mean, you know. You gotta know. That dick is like an iron rod that never fucking wilts, so. <laughs> Alright, uh, next video is called Your Penis is Too Small. Is she on the phone with me? What's going on? I remember <laughs> this conversation. Can we get a metal remix of this, please? Yes. I yes. want a death metal remix of this bitch. This would be a great fucking metal. She, just put her in the fucking band, in fact. Just fucking find this bitch and get her to perform her fucking number one hit single, Your Penis is Too Small. Dude, how is she not responsible for that? Like, my cock just hearing her has crawled inside of itself. That's true. Yes. Everyone's dick is smaller. Your penis is too small! Your penis! You're too small! Your penis 
I feel like I'm being berated for something I can't fucking control. <laughs> you know, Paul, this woman, you know, she has a right to a big dick. I wonder if there's a there's a dude. I think I think I'm echoing through you, TJ. I wonder yeah, if there's a dude on the bit. other end going, "Your pussy's too big. Your pussy's too fucking cavernous." I wonder if that's what this argument is. Is she actually talking to someone? Uh, I don't see a phone or anything. Big enough. You're not a king. No king cup. The penis is too small. I'm done. The penis is not big enough. The penis is too small. She's like smoking a cigarette, just like yelling at nobody that their penis is small. I think this is Pimp Monk's mom, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, like, if I found out that was Pimp Monk's mom, I'm not saying that it is, but I wouldn't be surprised. That's all I'm saying. This all one's, saying. uh, Texas woman steals police car, then crashes it during chase. Fair enough. Oh, she's free. Yep. Wow, they still haven't noticed her. She's almost all the way up front now. Huh. This bitch got some talent. But of course, she's going to be even in even more trouble than she was in for whatever she did to end up where she was. No, she's not. Yeah, about that. God dang! Hey! God! Ah, God dang! Get bone, bone, bone. The hell? Dude. Oh right. shit! Run my Avengers, dude. She's on the team. Oh, spike strip. Nope. Damn. This is like some real life Grand Theft Auto shit right here. Yeah, this chick is like a superhero or a spy or some shit, dude. Oh, she crashed. She's going too fast. Spoke too soon, Paul. Whoops. She might be hurt, too. Lay on the ground. Yeah, she's hurt. So. God damn. Yeah. So, pff, stupid cops letting that happen. Dude, all these other petty thieves around should be ashamed that they can't fucking slip out of cuffs and steal a cop car, too. That is true. All right, uh, let's see. It's kind of shame. Yeah. Here's uh, LSD testing on British Marines. This is an old uh, video from the 1960s. British Marines being uh, dosed with LSD. <laughs> let's get to the... The troops were given the same quantity of water to drink before each day's exercise. Unknown to the troops... The drug was added to the water on the second day. Uh, they didn't even know. The drug was given orally to the men in the hospital ward at 11.15. And they immediately embussed 
It's a good reason to never join any sort of military because you never know when you're going to be the motherfucker that just gets fucking selected for some fucking crazy inhumane experiment. Because, I mean, like, I can't imagine just fucking tripping on acid without knowing what the fuck is happening to you. Because you'd literally just think you're losing your fucking mind if you didn't if you didn't know you were even on fucking LSD. Area ten minutes later. At eleven forty, the first effects of the drug make their appearance. The men no longer take cover; they relax and begin to giggle. At this time, huh? one man is more severely affected than the others, losing all contact with reality. Do they have guns right now? Yeah, mortars. It looked like. Holy shit! Dropping his rifle and becoming unable to take any part in the operation. In fact, he has to be withdrawn from the exercise a few minutes later. Section 2 starts to advance to Redwood. The troops have lost their air of urgency, and many men are laughing. Huh? Many men are Meanwhile, laughing. Meanwhile, radio communication at the beaches has become difficult, if not impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Men dude. with no specific task to perform have relapsed into laughter and inconsequential behavior, though they are still capable of sustained physical effort. This man nearly succeeded in felling this tree using only a spade. Damn. Seventy minutes after the administration of the drug, with one man climbing a tree, the troop commander gives up, saying, I cannot do anything about this. I cannot control the men, and I can take no action myself. <laughs> I am wiped out as an attacking force. All right, so let's fucking start dropping LSD on our enemies, dude. Yep. That didn't. Yeah, that didn't sound too horrible, actually. You were warning yeah. people away from military service earlier, but yeah, but I, you know, now that I saw that, I'm like, you know what? If they just want to give me LSD, I'm down. Just give me some LSD, man. Let me trip. I want to laugh and try to take down a tree with a spade. That's a racist term, TJ. Oh, I'm sorry. Take it down with a spick instead. <laughs> All right. So someone sent me this, said we should play it on cutting the fat. I don't know. I just think it's an abomination of a video. All right. But... Let's do it. said because you're wearing makeup therefore everything you said i did not pay attention to it you know what's funny about this you're wearing makeup and you're not wearing everyone was like uh everyone was like i don't even care about the makeup i just can't take my eyes off them titties man <laughs> yeah dude the titties are way more stand out than the makeup but the, th the thing is that i've shown i shown my titties several times before this so i thought people you know had kind of grown accustomed to the titties but i guess I, we're I'll tell you this, TJ. I've been in relationships where I've become accustomed to the titties and shit, but every time I see your titties, it's like the first time. Wow. Thanks, wow. Paul. Thanks, Paul. I really appreciate it, dude. What the fuck is going on? That's all I can conceivably comment about. Why are you wearing makeup? 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 Why? Are you wearing makeup? Why? Why are you amazing atheists? So no, no edge, right? I mean, like... This... Look, this is not edgy, okay? You know what's more edgy is to be a Mormon or to be a Catholic, okay? <laughs> Why? Why are you wearing makeup? It doesn't make any sense. Guess what? You don't have to comment on it. You know what? This video has a I wish, I wish that I could have uh, made the, uh, the eyebrows more uh, pointy, you know, to give it more of that evil look. Because uh, I think it's just too round there at the top. Ret so. <laughs> in, in retrospect... That's my that's my retrospect critique. I wouldn't do anything else differently. Maybe put some nipple tassels on. I was gonna say, like, if I were if I were you know redoing this or helping you, the one note that I would give would be to pan the camera down away from your painted face and put segmento front and center, dude. Front Just and let center. The, dude. Let the people see the titties. That's what they were. That's what they wanted. Your makeup, because I fucking feel like it. There you go. You know. Now you don't have to comment about how I'm wearing makeup. Any fucking way, I'm the Amazing Atheist, and welcome back to Hate Week! Ah! Hate Week! Hate Week, the amazing YouTube theme that shall be remembered forever as one of the greatest themes in YouTube history. You know what? Uh, people kept bringing that back. People kept asking for another Hate Week, and I finally ended up doing it, but I did it kind of uh, lazily to fill some time while I was gone. And uh, everyone fucking hated Hate Week too. 
They love the first like, hate uh, week. Did you like they hate o- the second hate week? Ownage what? Fortnite or something like that? I remember uh, that. Yeah, I think I did. And then I, I remember Coughlin had uh, the the Pawnage Olympics or whatever. Yep. Long ass time ago, yeah, back before I, he became a fucking SJW pussy little bitch. <laughs> Day five. Today's subject is maturity, which, as you can see, I don't have. <laughs> and to prove it, but you know what? Man- I have matured since. You know, I'm a lot more mature now. I've become a very, you know, you even call me Mr. Responsibility, Ben, on several yeah. occasions. So, you know, I've definitely matured since then. I'm going to grab a drink. You guys, make sure. When DJ can't hang, hang, dude. I, I almost unsubscribed from this. Maturity. What they're really <laughs> talking about is you should get your head out of the clouds and keep your mind on practical, real-world concerns. Is that why he's leaving, do you think? I, I, I'm pretty yeah. sure that is why. He, he DJ, can't always, handle it. DJ always has to take a bathroom break during cutting the fat, dude. Yep. Well, you know what the fuck that gets you? You ever seen that guy in the old folks' home and all he gives a flying fuck about is the weather in a another state where you fucking live you ever talk I mean, you talk to your grandparents how's the weather over there like i live here and i don't even give a fuck about the weather over here why is he so fucking concerned about the weather i used to always wonder that why do old people talk about the weather then i realized this is like a jerry seinfeld routine why do people talk about the weather why is it every time i call my grandmother all she wants to talk about is the weather yeah yeah that their whole lives, all they gave a fuck about was things that actually mattered and were relevant to their existence directly. They were very pragmatic. They were very mature. And now that they're old people and they really don't have lives to speak of, the only thing they can give a fuck about is the weather because they don't know fuck all about anything else. All right. So uh, we'll get TJ back and then we'll do uh, stupid ads. Uh. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to cut the fat without TJ here, man. I know that's why he leaves. It's by design. It's hard to cut the fat when the fat keeps peeling itself off of the rump roast and going to get a drink, dude. Yeah, what the fuck? Actually, the uh, original cutting the fat segment was uh, we weren't even uh, there for it. They did yeah. it the first time we weren't even around. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was a whole episode. It was, it was uh, uh, Ben and Scotty cutting the fat. Yep, that's true. All right, here we go. Billy Mays presents Stupid Ads TV. All right, here we go. Uh, tornado can opener. I don't know. Not all of these show the price, but uh, most of them do. Cool. Traditional can openers are impossible. They slip and you can't grip. Impossible! And openers Im- just don't impossible. cut it. Hi, I'm Susan Williams, and this is the Tornado Opener. The faster, hey, easier, and more powerful can opener. Just place it on the can, press the button, and in seconds, all the work is done for you. It really is that easy. Holy shit, Unlike dude. Other- what? Can Holy shit. That cut the top off and leave wow. dangerous sharp edges. The tornado utilizes this unique patented cutting design that enters the actual rim of the can, leaving no sharp edges. No matter if it's thick, thin, large, or small, and with twice the power of other openers, the tornado opens them all. With its ergonomic design, it fits perfectly into the palm of your hand. And our magnetic removal system means clean, safe disposal, and no more. Er- ergonomic design is just a. F- what? Just a blob okay. of shit you put on top of the can. Yeah, uh, okay, so um, I'm going to say uh, $14.99. What? You took my $14.99? $19.99, dude. I say $14.99. Dangerous digging in the can. So it's perfect for arthritis sufferers. Or and you those probably get like three of them. Or and weak maybe grip strength. Too. When you have arthritis, especially in your hands, your hands lock up, and the manual openers are really difficult. With the tornado opener, I just push a button, one touch, and it's done. All Automatic right. can open. Oh, 1995. Damn. <laughs> talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, I know my cheap pap, dude. I know my shit. 
All right, here's the next one. I guess you're doing one. this in spa. I guess you do. Whoa. in the parking lot when you're parked on the oh, street man. it'll even happen in your own garage a scratch can happen anywhere and who has hundreds to pay a body shop well now you can keep your money and get rid of expensive scratches easily with scratch dini the remarkable oh, all-new professional strength it's formula free? that makes surface scratches disappear it couldn't be easier just use a tiny bit of our revolutionary formula and like magic you'll buff away the scratch in seconds watch again just use a little scratch dini and then literally wipe the scratch away it's that simple. The magic behind Scratch Dini is carbapol 3 and millions of microparticles that gently and effectively remove surface scratches with one easy step. Best of all, it'll work perfectly with any color finish. Guaranteed. Uh, you would never 9 dollars And they probably give you like five of them or something. Uh, uh, $14.95. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, with 10 bucks. Uh, oh, 10. Oh, 10 even. TJ looked. TJ I didn't looked. look at shit. TJ How would I look? It's over there in Washington. The playlist is literally fucking 2,500 miles away. Fuck Whatever, you. dude. I know what you did. TJ probably before the show, he was like, hey, Bing, can you send the playlist over to me? I'd like to uh, give it a peruse and make sure everything's in order. And then he looked at all the fucking prices. What a piece of shit. This one's called uh, Sweat Belt. I already need it. <laughs> that spare tire or muffin top? Help is finally here. Introducing Sweat Belt. Because that's all you need. It's that easy, guys. Waist trimmer that gives you that slim and lean look fast. Sweat Belt makes you sweat more right where you want it most. You'll instantly say goodbye to those love handles. With Sweat Belt, I find Wait a I get Okay, hold on. Sweating more from a particular place doesn't make you lose weight from that place, okay? It makes your belly sweatier, dude, so you sweat all the fat out of it. Uh, okay. Sure, why not? more out of my workout. It's easy to use and comfortable. I wear my sweat belt every day. You'll look like you lost inches off your weight just by using sweat belt. The secret is sweat belt's lightweight thermotech fabric that insulates your body heat and provides waist trimming compression uh, no. so you- No, the secret is it's a fucking girdle. Uh, That's the fucking girdle. secret. It's a fucking girdle. Look it's great a... and feel great. Look sweat at the difference belt Sweat Belt really makes in these core temp what? temperatures. What? You'll sweat more right where you want it most. Yeah, look at this woman with perfectly flat abs. Uh, yeah, it worked for her, guys. See? Yeah, that wasn't the result of, di of uh, proper diet and exercise right there. If, that was Sweat Belt. And if you dude, act that, now, that was they Rose throw in a Ann boob Barr job. before she threw that shit on, dude. Don't worry about that. You know, look at that. Wear sweat belt to the gym and maximize your workouts or wear it around the house during everyday chores and calorie burning activities. Best of all, sweat belt compresses and supports your lower back and abdominal core muscles for a 360 degree waist trimming effect. Wear under or over your clothes. It's fully adjustable so it always fits perfectly. And it's machine. Why the fuck does that guy need it? <laughs> Inwashable. He needs to sweat out his ab. Fat dude, so he can look he had like a no, god. He had he had almost no ab fat of any sort. Use a sweat belt on That's because of sweat belt. I'm washing my car, dude, yeah. working out, doing chores around the house. I make every move count wearing my sweat belt. I love the results I get with sweat belt. It makes such a big difference. All right, hold this on. Is simple. I just want to listen. I just want to point out the fact that we're literally watching an advertisement for a product that's like, we'll make your midsection sweat more. Yeah. No. No thanks. Fuck off. Try again. Um, 20 bucks. I don't know. 19.99. I'm thinking uh, yeah, 1495. Yeah, I'm going with Ben on this one. That's not going right. to be 20 bucks. Let's 20 see. bucks. Hopefully it shows Oh, oh, 1499. Ah! You could have you sold you sold yourself short sweat belt. You could have charged 19.99 for that. Yeah, something oh. tells me the sweat belt isn't still around, TJ. Let's see. Let's see if it is. I'm looking it up, Paul. I'm looking it fucking up, bitch. Well, I'm checking too because I don't trust your your sh shenanigans, TJ. It's yeah, not see, 
It's not the same brand name, but they got sweat belts still. Yeah, what an innovative uh, product for people to slim down. I need to Man. get me one of those. If only I could make my man titties sweat, dude. Do they make a sweat bra? <laughs> a sweat bra? I need to I sweat off this... some of this man tit. You need to wear that on the show. Here's the funny thing. Here's I just I'm reading about these sweat belts, and apparently, uh, not only do they not help you lose weight or tone or tone anything, they actually uh, make it harder to tone your abdominal muscles because they limit your range of motion. So beautiful. So you're actually making it harder for yourself to get a, a toned set of abs by wearing a fucking sweat belt. Fourteen ninety nine for a stay fat belt, dude. But look at the people in the commercial, man. It must yeah, work. It, it must. <laughs> Seems like it does. Seems like it really does. I'm going to step away for a minute, guys. I'll be uh, right back. I'm going to get you one of those for Christmas this year, TJ. No, I'm going to get you one. And it's going to hurt my feelings if I don't see you wearing it. Fine. I don't think they can hear you, TJ. All right. When are we, when are we shaving your head, Paul? Um... I don't know. Whenever you want to shave my head, I guess. I want to shave it now. You know what really pushed me over the edge was a comment on a video, dude. Somebody was like, shave your head, Paul. You look disgusting. And I thought, not only did that hurt my feelings and I could fix it by shaving my head, but then when people say that I don't listen to feedback and shit, I can forever point to like, look, this guy told me to shave my fucking head and I did it. That's true, Paul. That's very true. Smart, right? And uh, as you guys can see, the timer's on the screen. It's uh, time for you motherfuckers to give us money. You fucking cocksuckers. Thank us for this fucking show. Miserable sons of bitches. It's fucking Thank almost... It's almost a minute and a half into this shit. I ain't seen a fucking dime. The fuck is going on, you pieces of shit? Maybe, Pissing me off, man. Maybe Ben forgot to turn it on. No, it is on. Um... These bastards. Two Let's minutes see. and not a dime. Not a fucking dime. Boo. Let me double Boo, check. Boo, I says. I Boo. Believe it. I turned it on. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> they just don't like us anymore. They hate the show now. Holy oh, <gasps> shit. TJ's hyperventilating over there. <laughs> I really Let need this see. show, guys. I need this show to be a success. I fucking need it. Looks. Let me see. Someone said, uh, "TJ, don't take your shit off." I don't know why it's not coming up. I have it. Uh, I have maybe it. there's uh, maybe there's just some kind of issue right now. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, it did this to me and Paul one time too. Scam situation. Oh, here it is. Uh, what do you? What do you guys have, have against, against Minneapolis, Minneapolis for a meetup? Meet oh, I do guess you it's probably have any that idea one. how many great bars uh, and restaurants? Your bars you and restaurants in Minneapolis? Uh, I don't know. I've never even been to Minneapolis, so I don't know. Maybe it's great. I've never been there. Uh, I, I ain't against it. I've driven through it. <laughs> I'm not like raring for a Minneapolis meetup, but I mean, I'd say it's not Scam outside the realm of possibility. When will Scotty be back? Also, when's the next meetup? Uh, we don't have an exact date on when the next meetup is yet. Uh, Scotty could be back as early as uh, as uh, Friday, but um, I don't know. Or that could I have uh, I have Billy the Fridge working on a New York venue and to see like if that's practical to do. So, so yeah, we're looking Scam into New York situation. Hey Ben, I have a math problem. I need help with. Here it is. What is thirty one? Zero. And why did Ohio State lose to Clemson? Hail Dixieland. By the way, I hope Paul gets raped by frogs. Praise Keck. Well, joke's on you because Paul's not even here. They've already they've already sent me that one before on my stream. On my last stream, I had uh, Evan LeFevre and Pimp Monk argue with each other. About Slam what? Situation. About whether or not Evan's crazy. What was What's the name of the vid of the drunk guy whose work Paul is going to make a magnificent speech out of. I don't know. I don't know who that is. 
but uh, who won that debate though? Because I'd imagine Pimp Monk did not win. I feel like Evan. <laughs> I feel like Evan probably won yeah, the debate. Pimp, yeah, Pimp Monk was just kind of like, "Boy, you crazy." Scam. Ev Evan's like, works. "We're gonna build robots." I went to Mark <laughs> Bickle's mega church for five years when I was a teenager. He runs a 24-7 live stream with cultists doing Holy Spirit-inspired improvisational music. Well, that's Once crazy when I was shit. there, everyone in the building started convulsing and they were crying in the wrong for a few business, hours. Man. Yeah, we should be fucking Pentecostals. I, the time is ripe for us to all switch over to being godly Scam men. situation. Am I, how am I hurting? I'm not hurting. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I guess OSU got its ass. I mean, I, I know the Saints got their asses kicked today. OSU got uh, their asses kicked by Oklahoma. The year before, they, they beat the shit out of Oklahoma, and this year, like, they have a new coach, so they're way better. The so Oklahoma won. Ohio State sucks this year so far. Scam situation. You guys are pretty swell. I hope your death oh, is swift thank and painless. Thank you kindly. Yeah. Swift, I, I, painless death. I'm, I, I hope for the swift more than the painless, to be honest with you. Why is that? Because, like, I'd, if I know that I'm dying, then the painlessness really, like, doesn't do anything to, you know, like, I'd rather just have that momentary flash Scam of pain and have situation. it over with. Amongst all the shitty feminist Christians and political webcomics, are there any actual webcomics you guys enjoy? I recommend both Lacka Daisy and Dream Keepers, since both are excellently written and have pretty good art style. I love the show so far. Uh, I haven't heard of those webcomics. Uh, maybe if you send me a link or something, I'll check them out. But chances are I'm not going to remember. <laughs> that you At least said he's that. honest. Scam I mean, like cyanide and happiness. They were pretty good. Yeah, I haven't read that in a while, but it, it, it was pretty good. Uh, the new Death Note film on Cinema for Cidics, I just watched it. I'd love to see you guys tear it a new one. Uh, sure. I mean, I'll consider it. It's A lot of people have asked me about it over the last couple of days, just when I'm streaming and shit. So, Yeah, Paul's going to start shooting uh, videos mm -hmm. again pretty soon on his channel. So, uh, yeah, maybe that could be one of the initial Scam ones we do. Situation. Why is it that the more stupid someone is? The bigger words they use, like sunglasses, dude. Who's he talking about? Sunglasses, dude. Is he talking about is Paul that, or or is Vadim? Is that Paul or is he talking about? Oh, he's probably is Vadim or Vadim is one of know. those big sunglasses. I don't know. I don't know what he's talking big about. Ones. I don't you know. Gotta what I, gotta come more specific, sir. Was I was I was I being like overly Scam worried tonight? Was I like pragmatically? The Since you guys have had several people on who like, you previously tonight? thought would never come yeah, Paul, that's you on, every like night, Matt Dillon and, and Onision, who would you, you like your to have on that you used bullshit. to think wouldn't come on? Do you see the question? Yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was done being read yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like most people, I wouldn't object to them coming on Scam if they wanted to. situation. I'm best. Support best. my bestness. Support we will, sir. Bestness. Thank yeah. you, Drake. We we support you. Thank you for your, the thirty dollars. We appreciate it. And thank you for Hotline Bling too. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. I love seeing Brett's stupid ass drinking in the background every time we fucking get a donation. <laughs> yeah, it's Sam like a smeared off ice or something. I don't have much, so I can't be your sugar daddy, but here's five bucks, so I'll be your Splenda daddy instead. Thanks, Splenda daddy. We appreciate your fucking uh, cont contribution to the war effort. You See, there's... Sweet daddy. Are those Ribies? Yeah, in the that's... Background? I think that might be. I think it's little Ribie heads floating. That's some weird shit. Ribie does weird, Scam like, situation. foot porn and shit. Last one I said... Uh, last one I sent didn't show up, which is gay, but uh, it just said, I love you guys, and that after the 61-hour work week, the stream makes me happy. Well, that's cool, man. I'm glad sorry to hear about that. that. Sometimes it's a little wonky. And sorry about your 61-hour fucking work week, too. That's fucking yeah. horrible. That's brutal as fuck. That is one minute. Brutal. Man, I am sick as Scam fuck right situation. <laughs> Not feeling you, good. Uh, what do you got? Like sinus shit? I have a kidney infection, and now, for whatever reason, my throat's getting all sore, and I feel feverish. That Dude. sucks. And I have Be this... Be careful. 
be careful you don't get like fucking pneumonia when you have like those internal affections and shit you can get more because your fucking immune system is weak and shit yeah yeah i'm feeling like like ass i'm on antibiotics though so i don't know why i'm still feeling this way uh is it dumb to join FanDuel if i know nothing about football or is it like a lottery or what i mean like Kind of, but you could still just kind of like take a dumb guess and do really well and win money. And uh, I'll have the results of last week's FanDuel uh, uh, tournament once Jim Ass gets back to me, sends me some the screenshots. People, the people who really win on, on FanDuel and stuff like that are usually more math nerds than they are football nerds, honestly. Because they're the ones who've actually like studied the statistics or put together like computational models to figure out... Yeah. I mean, like you could statistically probably going to perform the best and you scam situation. This is my last attempt two times and I didn't get it displayed. I want to draw you fan art ideas. Um, ideas for fan art, dude. Draw a picture of Paul getting fucking raped by a rhino. (laughs) Why is it always a rhino with you, dude? You got this thing with people being raped. Yeah, you're you're always wanting to fill me with rhino cum and shit, dude. Yeah, show Scam Rhino cum workshop. overflowing from Paul's How destroyed much for asshole. To shave his head. That sounds like something we can show. <laughs> How much to shave uh, your head, TJ? Uh, I don't know. Fifty thousand dollars. Damn. Damn. I don't think that's happening. Actually, I don't even think. Bit. I think that's beyond the maximum uh, tip amount too. Darn. Um, they so can always I'm, PayPal me the money. I'm turning it off now. We are done with that. Um. Yeah, so we're going to end the show here. Going to the post show? Yeah. Try to power through the fucking post show. We'll just do a real short one for this week. All so right. We'll, we'll, we'll watch a couple out. videos. We'll, we'll just go out. watch a couple videos on there. All right, Peace, guys. Peace, y'all. See ya. Good night. Good night, everybody.